Hello, dear sweet clever Coop. Thank you for your patience. My goodness, what a day it's been. Non-stop, um, in a good way, in a good way. But I had a lot of voiceover auditions today to do, and I wanted to give them the attention that they deserve because it's very important to me. And I recorded so many different characters that I still have yet to edit, but at least they recorded. That was the important part to me. And then when I finished, I was like so, um, I mean, just grody because you're in a closet just yelling at stuff and it's getting hotter and hotter so anyway um i had to shower anyway good to see you thank you for being here and thank you for waiting around i know this is much later than normal but it's nice to see yeah if you are here um desi lou thank you for dropping 10 flipping gift subs i appreciate you desi lou is gifting to gurg 101 uh oh ha uh anna benui arachnid uh milk cove mom star Stray Uru, uh, Artemis Kin, Dan Garcia X, uh, Venitas VA, Nerd Witch, and then Tweaker on the 360. Thank you so flippin' much, Desi Lu. And I did get the thing that you sent to my PO box, and it was very sweet, and I gasped with glee. Um, so thank you very much for that. Hi, everybody who's new here, because we may have a lot of new people from either the um, Onigiri stream, or maybe um, Actually, or maybe Anthony's video. So if you haven't seen me before, Hi, I'm Damien. I'm a voice actor, Twitch streamer. You may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smosh. Um, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. I really appreciate you. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Um, and uh, every once in a while, I am super late for things like this, but I try to stay on schedule. Just rarely do perfectly. But anyway, um, it's lovely to see you. Usually with my streams, we just chit chat for a while and then I hop into a game. Tonight, we will of course be doing Elden Ring, Shadow of the Air Tree. It won't be the longest stream uh, tonight because I uh, took so long getting here, but uh, I definitely wanted to stream at least a little bit. Um, Desi Lou, thank you again. That was very sweet. And we got the Slash to Miss drop in 10 flipping gift subs. Let's go. The Slash Miss is gifting to a new guy. Who guess who? La 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 lobster. Diet Imp. Night Sale. Uh, we got Roar 720. Nameless Bond 007. Steve Bruno. Uh, Mona Lisa Tisa. And then Miroticon. Uh, thank you so flippin' much for that. That's very, very nice of you, and I greatly appreciate it. Um, for anybody who's new here, um, I do read out uh, tips with messages attached. I read out new subscribers as they roll in. Uh, Resubscribers all at the end of the stream, just so it's all in one spot. And uh, sub bombs as they come in. That being said, while they are, of course, appreciated, and I say thank you for that, and it definitely helps support me, you got to take care of yourself first. So there is no expectation here of any of that happening. You can still be an appreciated member of this stream for free. I talk to the chat all the time for free. Um... I just say thank you when people do that because it's awesome and I appreciate it. So Slash Mist, uh, Desi Lou, thank you both very much. And if you've been gifted a sub, you can now join the Discord. Ooh. <laughs> Demo Nacho, thank you for dropping three flipping gift subs. How are you feeling? I appreciate you doing that. Uh, gifting you Umbral Gray, um, Ivise, and then Darth McMalik. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate you. First time catching a stream. Very excited. It says Midwest Dino. Oh, well, we got to make it good. Midwest Dino is here. We got to make it good. Um... <laughs> I'm running late. I'm a little flustered, but I, I want to say, like, it's not normal. Like, I'm normally just so on the ball. I'm not. This is normal in its own way. Is volume a little low for anyone else, says uh, Darjez. I think that might be you, Darjez. On my end, the volume is pretty actually high. Just just checking, though. But it could be, I don't know. See what the see what the audience says. Cop your rose. Thank you for dropping two flipping gift subs. Gifting to uh, Faceless Cause and then Xavier351. Uh, Cop your rose. Thank you very much. You rose to the occasion when the occasion was, may I have two gift subs, please? Um, thank you so much. Appreciate you. I'm probably going to hop into the gameplay a little bit sooner than I normally would tonight um, because I'm running so late, but thank you. Uh, lurk while I recover from bar trivia, but I appreciate you, my gamer. Oh, Valens EXP. I'm not going to ask if you won. I'm going to ask if you had fun. Sounds like you did. Um, amateur nail art. Thank you for dropping five flipping gifts. We got a lot of sub bombs tonight, y'all. Thank you so much. This is really nice. Um, Skeletor says, I was so surprised to see you on, um, actually you did really well. Thank you very much. I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to give away like production details of any kind, but like, I don't know if you can tell from my hair and many different tattoos. I filmed that like a while ago. I was like, I was like, wait, it hasn't come out yet, huh? So I'm glad it came out. I'm glad it was fun. I don't remember anything about it other than having a good time. Amateur nail art. Thank you for gifting to Crackerman, Cuckoo Roxa, uh, Dandere Eve, uh, Nev Drake or Nev Drake and then Zyersi. Thank you so much. Goodness gracious, this is lovely. This is really nice. The trailer came out in January. I know. Yeah, it's been a minute, but that's okay. Yes, we're talking about um actually. Yes, we're talking about um actually. Amateur nail art. Thank you so much. Thank you for the thousand bits, Leah Bug. This is crazy. On a Tuesday Eve where I'm running late, we have a hype train like this. Thank you so much. 
Uh, Tuatha, drop in five flipping gift subs. Thank you very much, Tuatha. Appreciate you. Gifting to Mandy Kian, uh, Whoop Whoop Time, Spectre Alien, Crazy, and then uh, Mitch Oyotone. Um, thank you. Or maybe it's Michi Oyotone. Yeah, that makes more sense. Uh, Michi Oyotone. Thank you very much for that, Tuatha. Appreciate you. Check out the dropout subreddit. People are saying your EP is the best. I'm actually EP of the season. Oh, that's really nice, sweet PB. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't, uh, I don't, we don't have to compare anything, but I'm glad it was good. That's really nice. <laughs> that's really nice. Thank you. Uh, Bloodfang Viper with a hundred bits. Thank you so flipping much. Um, my goodness. Um, I'm also, I'm going to uh, probably, probably going to skip the question of the day today, y'all. We're probably going to hop right into the game because I can always chat to you while we're gaming. Um, I, there's so many newbies here too what's up uh newbie mandy kian mandy uh punk axolotl good to see you thank you for being here uh cinemiku dropping five flipping gift subs as well thank you cinemiku i appreciate that a lot gifting to mlud684 revenant 930 uh frights fright mitsuman r8r uh mogo 1331 and then jonesy baby j thank you so much i appreciate you wow so many people on a tuesday eve this is lovely Oni stream was so fun. Thank you, Desi Loot. Yeah, uh, yesterday was a fun stream. I hopped on um, as in as a guest for a VTuber, a cooking VTuber of all things, um, which was really interesting and really cool. Um, definitely a new experience for me, but I had a good time. Um, but yeah, this music is jammy. I'm feeling it. Cinemiku, thank you so much. Appreciate that a lot. Uh, uh, VV Hortuary, gifting to Burn That Bee. Thank you very much, VV Hortuary. Um, I'm sure the VVs are supposed to be combined. I get it now. And I've already said your name, so oops. Um, <laughs> thank you for that. Joe the Raven is dropping six, 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 subs, subs, subs. Thank you very much, Joe the Raven. Gifting to Duke of Willington, uh, Cater Tot, 1989, Need a Sweet, I Am Harden, Lackluster Worm, and then Benzinical. Um, thank you so flippin' much. Greatly appreciate you, Joe the Raven. That was very, very nice. Um, yeah. Anybody who's new here, um, I generally just talk a little bit about how my day was. I ask how your day's going. I'll probably do all that during gameplay now because I'm about to hop in. Um, but yeah, today was great. A lot of voiceover auditions. And I'm finally, I'm talking to a few different conventions about getting things put together to guest and, and go see stuff and be a part of things. I'm being very vague because you don't announce anything until you've done it. But still, it's, there's going to be... New stuff coming down the pipeline. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Yeah. Super excited. I don't know why I macho man that. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, Leah Bug dropping five flipping gift subs. Let's go. Thank you so much, Leah Bug. Gifting to Fiorius, Mikal J13, Himyu, uh, Scary Fast, and then Beautifully Scared, Scarred for You. I was about to say scared for you. I'm scared for you. You're eating too much pudding. Your family misses you. Um, Leah Bug, thank you for doing that. I appreciate you. I greatly appreciate a wrestling reference. I feel like, yes, Macho Man is wrestling, but is Macho Man really just a wrestling reference at this point? I feel like he's entered the cultural zeitgeist. The cultural zeitgeist. Uh, Maggie DH, thank you for gifting to Casey uh, Deranged. The Cat Girl Warrior, thank you for gifting to Smokey. This is wild, y'all. Thank you. I'm going to read out these last couple sub bombs and then we're going to hop into the game. How's the kitties? Says Coley Bop. They're good. They've been very needy, but good. Um, they've been lazy today because it's warm, and so they're just sitting as like little cat puddles of goo. <laughs> I ran out of things to say. <laughs> Tuatha is gifting to the Shanicle Insider 2000, Syruptitiously, Lilith Galaxy, and then Prime Pastry. Tuatha, thank you very much for two sub bombs in one eve. Greatly appreciate that. And then finally, Emily from Cali is gifting to Hippie Liam. Thank you so much for doing that, Emily from Cali. Uh, I appreciate you a lot. If you are new here, I'd love to see y'all in the Discord. Otherwise, now you uh, you have those emotes that are usable uh, on account of subscriber. And I'm going to mess with my hair because it's wet and uncomfortable when it's this hot. But that's okay. Um, good to see y'all. Thank you again so much. That was a really bonkers, generous batch of sub bombs. That was super cool of you. Again, you never have to do it. It's really nice that you did. So tell you what, um, if you are in the chat, I will probably see you at some point during the stream. All that I ask is that you just uh, adhere to the most basic of chat rules, like be respectful, don't spam, don't spoil, yada, yada, yada. Because our, our mods are here. They work super hard. We love our mods, and they volunteer to be here. So I don't want to make their job, quote unquote, more difficult than it could be. So uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, the glove on, the, on account of the injured hand. But see what I mean? It's very Rayman. 
They're like, ooh, I'm a PlayStation 1 exclusive. Ooh. Um, all right. Perfect. This is a more intense one. This is like credits of an indie game here. All right, let's hop into the game of Elden Ring. If you haven't seen it before, don't you worry. Um, we'll get you caught up on story mode. Uh, what's up, Zelda nerd? Good to see you. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a grand old time. Question time. Did you drift? I'm skipping today. We're going hop. We're hopping right into the game because I'm really late. And I want to make sure I have time to do everything and also protect my voice. <laughs> because I did like 15 character auditions today. I think probably more, which is I'm not even exaggerating. It's wild. Um, lots to record. So uh so if you're new here you'll just have to join us next time for a little tradition that we do all the time and now it's time for me to swap on over to pc gameplay -ba -da -boop -boop. this is the game of elden ring it's awesome um <laughs> all righty we got kabang 11 also dropping five flipping gift subs and we know what sound that makes <laughs> Um, Kabang11, thank you so much for gifting to Trashfire Nina, Edgewa Cree, Melted Lyric of Original, the BB Wolf, and then Techno Sufi. Uh, thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciate you. It was very nice of you. Um, I'm also going to swap. Oh, mods, you already did it. You swapped it to the Elden Ring. You're so polite. Shout out, mods. Thank you, mods. Okay. Okay, there we go. The controller is on the ground and so very tangled. Hey, what's up, Flanface? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Oops. Well, just screwed up my own. Just screwed up my own <laughs> speakers. I can't hear anything, and that's okay. It's gonna be a very interesting game where I can't hear people speaking up behind me like that. Bro, really? Oh, come on. That's okay. Everything. I love how normal it is. Uh, Kabang, thank you for that. And then uh, Twatha again. Twatha, thank you for gifting. 10 flipping gift subs, one on earth. Let's go. Thank you so much, Twatha, for gifting to Rob Skibadoo, uh, Dilleaf, Silly Bunny 100, uh, Science 129, uh, Arshiba, Bjorl, uh, Chirundle the Great, Night Maze, No Problem Man 101, and then Aurora Crystal Heart. Thank you so flipping much for doing that. I greatly appreciate you. You are, I believe, yep, you're the dominant sub gifter of the month because happy July, everybody. It is July all day. Um, so thank you. Can I hear it? Can I hear it? Ah, beans. Sometimes one button is all it takes. Uh, oh, there we go. I can hear it. You guys can hear it. That's good. All right. So this is the game of Elden Ring. If you are not familiar, it is in the Soulsborne universe. In all Soulsborne games, you are usually uh, trapped in a world with a... Oh, that was nice. Um, that is in a cycle of death and rebirth. And uh, in many of these worlds, you were sort of at the whim of the gods fighting over these lands, but they're also usually losing power. And maybe there's a vacuum where sort of you get to choose how the world uh, continues on. It's meant to be very difficult. You're gonna die a lot. Um, if you die, you lose your level up currency and you have one chance to get it back. If you don't, you lose it a bunch entirely. So um, very difficult in a fun way. This is the DLC with a lot of new storyline things, a lot of new enemies that I've never seen before. It's truly just a grand old time. Um, so I'm very excited to do this. I have avoided spoilers of all kinds. Um, thank you so much. Tuatha says, I'm jealous that Damien doesn't have to wear headphones and can just have sound through speakers. Must, must be nice. Tuatha, um, a bit of advice for that. If you end up looking for a uh, microphone, either you can get a shotgun mic or one like this that's a little bit more uh, directional. And I've got my speakers coming this way. And I've got a little bit of like a, um, a threshold for sound reduction. So sound is definitely reaching the mic, but the mic is like intentionally not picking it up. You can you can play with it a bit to make it happen. Uh, Bumble BD, thank you for dropping 200 bits. Appreciate you. Thank you for closed captions. You are welcome. I'm glad the community um, uh, was, you know, very persistent in asking for that, and that's a good thing. All right, so this is the uh, little little secret, little hidden dungeon that we found last time at the end of stream. Um, I don't know what to expect in here. Last time we got through one and uh, it kicked a bunch of butts at me. Um, oh, you have to consider other people in the household. That's why. Got it. Well, I thought that makes sense. This is the first time I realized you don't have headphones, says Edu Cree. Yeah, I don't. I mean, obviously, if I'm going to play with friends, I don't always have like this thing up. I will wear some like nice alien wares because I do enjoy working with them and they've gifted me some headphones. Very nice, but still. Um, all right. Hey, we got some new subscribers as well. Everybody, actually, just the one. Uh, everybody, please give a spicy, clever coop welcome to Miss Game Master. Miss Game Master, welcome. 
Welcome to you. All right, so like I said, this game is very difficult. I'm currently using a new weapon that I didn't use in the main game. This character is still under leveled for the DLC, but I think uh, we're gonna be just fine. Everything's gonna be cool and I'm not gonna die even once. You know, per usual. Smithing stone. And if you're new here and you end up having any questions, feel free to ask them. I mean, obviously don't spam the chat, but we're not a restrictive community. We're just like, you don't really play the game. Um, that's a little beast fellow. I feel like he wants to poison me. And that's not just a rude assumption I'm making. Beast fellows usually try to poison me. Is this Go Go Hippo Go, says Roadhog GG. Ah, you must have watched the Anthony video. It is indeed Go Go Hippo Go. If you are here from the Anthony video and have never seen me before, I remain true to my word in that we do have a stream mascot. He's got a face only... All of us, we can all, we can all love him. We all love him. Oh God, except for that dude. Oh, he loves him too much. Daddy, see, it wasn't a rude stereotype. It was the beast man is going to try to poison me. There we go. Woo, that is bright hair. Well, Twatha, Hippo might say that you have hair that is not bright. You know, everybody's different, right? So um, I think we all learned a little something today. Uh, that works. See, never say that this stream you don't learn stuff. Sal 007 favorite roguelite game. Are you saying this is yours or are you asking me mine? Because I definitely love the Soulsborne universe, but if not, Hades is fantastic. I used to really love Binding of Isaac. Um, I think it, it ended up making like too many iterations for me to keep up with it, but um, I really like Hades. Um, Cult of the Lamb is great. Um, I liked Dead Cells for a while. It got a little old. Oh, uh, Rogue Legacy. 10 out of 10 game. Seek Lever. Okay, so I got to find a lever to open up a spot. Uh, for anyone new, these are messages that are left by other players, which is fascinating to me. It's always such a cool thing. Cult of the Lamb now has co-op, says Demo Nacho. Interesting. Are you playing with one of your cult followers? Because if you're teaming up with someone else, I'm like, you can't just merge cults willy-nilly. Smith Script Spear, a new weapon just dropped, eh? What do we have here? A Smith Script Spear. What do you do? What do you do? Figure out what it is you do. Um, spear engraved with Smith Script. Ah, uh, yes, I know what that is, but just in case, Let's see what it says. Execute a strong attack, a dashing strong attack, or a mounted strong attack. You throw the spear. Impale see, my message was just appraised. I left one of those down there. Someone left a message, and if I were low on health, they could just, that would have boosted me a little bit. Skill, imperiling thrust. A skill that lets piercing armament serve the common enemy shields. Build power and lunge forward for a strong thrust that pierces the enemy's guard. Nice. I love it when I get to do that. That looks pretty cool. And if I were doing a spear build, which I have been known to do in my free time, I would do that. Aha, there's that lever of legend. The Amasaurus says, uh, I've been binging Smosh's Reddit stories all day. I'd love to see you in more. Hey, Amasaurus, that's very nice of you. Thank you. I love filming stuff like that. Um, you know, Smosh has a lot of people. Um, and that's it's frankly not up to me. So as, as much as they want to put me in of stuff, I'm always down, but, um, I'm, you know, I, I'm happy to do what I do. So thank you. What part of the map is this dungeon slash what's his name? Oh, someone wants that Smith script spear. Well, I've got an extra spear in my tummy. Um, I can't open map right now uh, because I am mid battle. I have gone into battle, but I will uh, show you as soon as I'm able. Oh, that's a second spear. What do you do? You close the thing? I'm sure some people have probably... Oh, yep, you do. Well, that's not great. I didn't want that. Um, hey, Leon Kennedy. You know what? That's a strong compliment. At first, with my hair drooping like this, I was like, I need more style to it. It feels so mushroomy. But then people started saying it's Leon Kennedy, and I'm like, oh, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it's Leon Kennedy. There it is. Um, Ruined Forge of Starfall Past. It, uh, we got to it from this direction. We sort of went in this ravine underneath it and came out of this little, uh, actually, where did, where did we pop out of? We popped out of like here. Oh yeah. We went through a castle called the Fort of Reprimand. So this is where it is. Take a mental shot. Use your phone. 
Ah, beans. Sir, honestly, rude. Feel my aura. There we go. Okay. Um, thank you again so much for joining, y'all. I know this is a late stream, but I'm happy to do it. And weirdly, my energy is pretty solid for it being this late. I feel like we have a lot of new people tonight. This is great. Welcome on in. Hey, man. You're spilling your soup. You're spilling your soup, sir. Sir. A local man threw hot soup on someone else at a McDonald's. Sources say the giant, quote unquote, went crazy and just started throwing <laughs> like he owned the place. Yeah, I seen the whole thing. I thought, I kept thinking about what a shame it was because I love soup personally and I couldn't afford it. I was there to just smell and waft it from other tables and other uh, restaurant goers. So I also wonder how we got a soup at a McDonald's. I don't think they served that. <laughs> the man who was attacked by the soup was offered to be taken to the hospital but refused treatment on account of, quote, I've got that dog in me. I took... Fool me nine times, shame on you. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. And the hot pot out, it gets too heated. You know what? I love trying new foods. If you want to know the biggest, my biggest food shame. Hey, get out of there, my guy. Um, Never, never had hot pot. I'd love to, but I never had it. The one time I was supposed to go with a friend, a friend overslept, and uh, they were like, I could be there in like 40 minutes. And I was like, I kind of don't want to do it now. So let's try it another time, which is okay. Um, I didn't judge them. They were going through a lot, but it was just a matter of like, well, I'm trying. Damn it. I've just let every one of them hit me. Though I will say that is like, that's some solid aura again. Just to be like, what? You've hit me with your spear. Now what? I'm going to get hit again. Oh, okay. Well, didn't get hit this time. Uh, guys, we've got a, we've got a soup epidemic here. People are now in chat comparing me to Leon S. Kennedy and Dante from Devil May Cry. Am, did I die in my life just, I, this is heaven? Because this is pretty sick and I love it. Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay. Yeah, clearly he's just gonna keep being rude about it, which like, you know, you're an adult, I can't tell you what to do, but I wish you would be less rude. He's peak, my lord, says Joe the Raven. I love that. You also look like you could be 9S. Um, 2B? Um, 2B? I can hack the system. Just give me a minute. 2B? Right. Yes, I have that on hand. All right. Sorry, gotta push my hair back a little bit. Get in my face now. I don't have any product in it. That's okay. But why? I had it to uh, pull my hair back while I was doing voiceover, um, and it's very sweaty, and I regret putting it on my face. But hey, if I made you chuckle, it's worth it. Um, I will start reading out tips in a second here. Thanks again, y'all. There's there's plenty, and if I don't read them out right away, um, it's just because I like to focus on the chat too for free. Thank you so much, y'all. I really appreciate it. Smithing talisman. Nice. Ah, yes. The prophecy is complete. The tale of the stinky boys. And there's several of them. Hey, we got Genrox dropping five flipping gift subs. Thank you so much, Genrox. You do indeed, Rox. Um, appreciate that a lot. Gifting you book, Weeb. Ash V. Maybe it's Ash the Sixth. I don't know. Ty T. O'Sullivan Kate. And then the legendary side effect. I appreciate you a lot. That's very nice of you. Um, oh, I didn't mean to do that one. Well, crap. Yeah, did you know fire wouldn't affect them? That's pretty great. Are you going for a Lyos build? Says 15 spoons. 
it's funny you say that because we brought up on stream the other day someone was like you should make Lyos and I thought about it and I was like oh my god I can they have like a beast claws situation in the DLC that I saw on TikTok unfortunately because I'm trying to avoid spoilers but that's okay um and I think that's pretty cool we could do a short sword obviously they have knight armor um and I could try to use mostly consumables and try to collect every cookbook in the game. It could be like a Lyos run. I think that would be kind of sick. I think that would be kind of rad for me. Oh, Villa7, that's very sweet of you to say. Thank you and welcome on in for the first time. First time subscriber, first time viewer or what have you. Oh, this is new. Okay, so I guess I just have to drop down. There's no, there's a chain here. I feel like that's the kind of thing where usually in other Soulsborne games, I'd have to break it. Break it. Okay. Smithing stone, nice, nice. What's that up there? Oh, there's this light hitting that weird like dangly thing. Oh, sir? Rude. <laughs> I wish you had more control in this game where, like, the spear is just stuck in you and you just look over, you're like, now it's my turn. You're speared against me. I'm not speared by you. You're speared against me. Excuse me, sir. Oh, just gonna scooch by you there. Thank you. He really just didn't do anything, huh? Last shard. Nice. I wonder, did I already get the goodie of this area? Was it the talisman that I needed and the spear? What does this talisman even do? Enhances weapon throwing attacks. We did just find those uh, throwing knives. That's kind of cool. Dunce face says, I have no idea what's happening, but Damien makes everything funny. That's very sweet of you. Thank you. For anyone who's just more or less confused by this, um, in this game, you are always just trying to make your character stronger as you fight boss after boss after boss, and then eventually you take down a corrupt and or dying god. Um, that's Elden Ring for you. You're a little guy that is not in any way magical, and they're like, you should take down the corrupt god of the world, and you go, okay. More armaments to be found, says the sky at dusk. Ooh, do you mean in this location? Usually I'm like, no, big C gaming, no, whatever, but if I'm about to miss something huge and I'm like, walking by it like please let me know will you play any easier games soon um i do like to play a lot of casual games um a lot of fun indie games like as soon as anything like in the realm of a stardew comes out um that's always fun for me i do enjoy that um in the forge generally oh okay so like here Smith script Cirque. That's kind of sick. Is that what you meant? Is that what you meant? Oh, I don't think I can jump down here, can I? This is about to be a problem for me, huh? Yep, can't do that. Oh God, oh sorry, no. Don't, sir, please, no, sir. I have a bunch of, a bunch of runes. Um, alrighty, I will read out tips now uh i don't know why i said it like that like i'm not, not even human i'm like i will read out tips now hello um one second i'm just gonna try to make it the heck out of here okay um penguin effect thank you for the 100 bits also everybody please give a spicy clever coop welcome to our newest subscribers nerdy bunny bean the cat girl warrior and that's it that's the two you got a bunny and a cat. Gosh, you're a viral YouTube video waiting to happen. Look at you go. All right, I feel like we did, we kind of cleaned house there. Okay. Um, all right, I'm gonna scroll on over. We have got, oh, I had to scroll down. Thank you, y'all. You're being very generous. I appreciate that a lot. Um, we have got Resplendent Reveries dropping 369. Nice. Uh, thank you, Resplendent Reveries. Saying, hey, Damien and Coop, I've had a god-awful couple days, and I'm so grateful for the stream tonight as a distraction slash comfort. I am sorry to hear that, but I will absolutely distract you. Look, keys. Um, uh, Y'all are lovely, and I appreciate you, Damien, and this community so much. That's very sweet. Thank you. I'm sorry you've had a bad few days, though. 
it's it's always a bummer when things hit you like with a one-two punch and then it's also a bummer when you're already down and they hit you with a one-two punch leg drop elbow to the neck uh roundhouse kick to the butt and then punch again and they they do be happening that way sometimes huh um please take care of yourself and do something extra nice i i know it's not fun when you're in that space and i will say that i said it to a, i said it to a friend earlier and i mean it sometimes survival is thrival an american tale thrival goes west excuse me sir um can you let me out of this wall please oh, thank you sir oh can you get wrecked There we go. Fool. Your mistake was being struck by my blade in your stupid little neck. <laughs> um, but Resplendent Reveries, I do wish you well. Let me take a little sip. Take a little sip. The Cat Girl Warrior says, what kind of creatures are those? Those are um, beast men, but I think they're... They're corrupt. I think they've gone a little bit more feral. Because we've met beastmen who are, you know, more conversational and chill and actually want to be our friends, but these guys are, like, not having it. They're kind of lizardy. Go on, then. Strike true. And I assure you, you will only strike once. Okay, that one didn't count. No, God, no! He was just walking toward me as I'm like, no, 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 no. Well, bummer. <laughs> That's okay. It's going to be fine. Uh, that one doesn't count. I wasn't ready. I didn't know the rules. The light is in my eyes, and uh, my controller is broken. Let me try that again. All right. Uh, we have Otome Cafe. Hey, what's up, Otome Cafe? I feel like it's been a minute. Drop in five flipping bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, Otome Cafe says, I'm experiencing the worst FOMO for Anime Expo since it's coming up and I haven't been in forever. I'm curious, though, as someone who attends cons as a special guest, is it hard for you to just walk around the place and enjoy it without getting stopped? Um, Otome Cafe, that's a great question. You know, I'm going to be at Anime Expo on July 5th for a panel, and beyond that, I don't know what else I'm going to be doing, if anything. Um, I love going to cons. I love experiencing new things, meeting new people, etc., etc., but... At the same time, um, if I'm at a con just to do, like, signings and they just give me a table to kind of do my thing, um, I generally won't walk around too much, save for maybe one or two times as just, like, a quick break. Um, because I, I kind of like to maximize the time I have meeting people, signing stuff, etc., etc. When I do walk around cons, I find that people are pretty respectful. I mean, I because it's specifically a con where I would be potentially recognized because I am there to sign things. So like inherently there will be people there who would be interested in seeing me. Uh, these things hold special skills in them and I gotta steal it. Um, oh, it doesn't even matter if I die because then I get the thing. Okay, Okay. well, that does count. At least I got the thing. Um, yeah, people will generally see me and say hi, but people are also respectful and they're aware of like the fact that they're stopping me in the middle of a con. And I don't have a problem saying hi to people. I love saying ho hello. I love taking selfies and stuff like that. Um, so that's never an issue. I think as long as people are fine with me saying, hello, nice to meet you, taking a photo, and then me continuing on with walking around a con, that feels best for me. Because if they want to spend time to say hi, then I have like a table for that, you know? Um, so sometimes I'll just be like, hey, it was really nice to meet you. If you want to chat more, like, come on down. I got a table over there. I'll be back in like 45 minutes, you know, whatever. Um, I keep seeing what looks like ghosts. What are those? Those are other players playing in their world right now. Um, and because uh, there's like a little constant online connection there. And uh, sometimes they'll distract enemies and sometimes they can show you where to go. Yada, yada, yada. But yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit precious of the maybe 45 minutes to an hour total I get to walk around cons when I, when I do. So... I think it just takes clear, polite communication on all ends. But that being said, it, it is a little bit tricky sometimes to walk around cons in that way, like you'd mentioned. Um, just, yeah, that's the nature of it. I'm at a convention to say hello to people, and people might know who, I, I, I guess, things that I've worked on, like, because of that, you know? Yeah. 
Penguin effect, thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate you. Where did I drop my runes? Oh, they're right back here. There we go. Ooh, I'm sorry, buddy. Are you sad? Yeah, that's right. You're dead now. No, I'm dead now. God, no. God, why? Not again. I don't even have to fight this dude. What am I doing? A very spicy, clever coop. Welcome to Chaotic Rogue as well. Thank you very much for that. Let me scroll up real quick here. Thanks so much for the generosity, y'all. And we've also got Zeltor123 subscribing for the first time. Welcome new subscribers. Thanks for using your prime on me. Very sweet of you. Wow, they really don't like Hippo. Well, Hippo is like 20 levels under level, and that's okay. That's fine. <laughs> Revenge of the Grunge Lizard? Wow. Wow. All right, so this time, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab those runes, and then I'm going to skadoodle. I'm going to grab those runes, and then I'm just going to skadoodle. Hey, Chaotic Rogue, thank you for the sub bomb. A new subscriber yourself, and you're just like, actually not to be outdone. Um, thank you so much for dropping five gift subs to Eddie11, Shiny Nachos, Tropical, uh, Connor J 18th um, and then Faranora21. Thank you so much. All right, here's, here's what I'm going to do. And it's going to be really cool like a hero. You know what I mean? So I think it's only proper as a gentleman. Stab this man in the back of his head. And I grab that and I run. I say, come pony, we ride. You know, like a hero. Oh, oh, that dragon's doing work. Oh, that's the ghost flame dragon that I discovered elsewhere. And it, it is truly immediately just a boss fight, huh? Okay, maybe he hasn't noticed me yet. Okay, he has. <laughs> um, ghost flame. Um, that is, I don't even know what element that is. What would he be weak to? Um. He's so cool looking though. God, I want to unlock whatever skill he has. Uh, Tiarna, thank you for dropping five flipping gift subs. I will do that. I will respond to that soon. Hey, these guys are hitting them down. Good job, perfumers. I will join you in this battle. Huzzah! <laughs> I'll never die. Okay, dragon, it's you and me against the perfumers. I'm on your side. Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm such a klutz, but I'm really on your team, though, okay? Actually, this is... This is the kind of thing where I should really have... Why... Why... Of all times, at all places, would you go after me? Sir, stop it. Stop it. Sir, stop it. I just want to do the thing. Sir, stop it. Dude! Oh my god. Cat Cashmere. Uh, Cashmere. Cat Cashmere. Thank you so much for that, Sub Bomb. That's Bonkers Crazy Destiny. Um, sorry I said that. Thank you. I will read it out in a second because I don't want to die. Yes. No. Dude! The hammer guy can't be. I've got some words for that there, hammer guy. And my words are, buddy, why? So rude. I will, however, thank Tiarna. Dropping five flipping gifts up. This is such a crazy gift sub heavy night. Thank you very much, y'all. Tiarna is gifting to Mr. Watts VR, Angels, Cali, um, uh, Fighting Sinner, Nerdy Reads, and then Gabe F145. Thank you very much, Tiarna. And then we got Cat Cashmere dropping 25 Flipping gift subs, which is bonkers. I've never changed that photo, and I don't think I will. Cat Cashmere, thank you so much for gifting to He Bro Hammer, Lily Grace, Realiza, Purple Penguin 82, Pro Greninja. I can't read Hangul, and I'm sorry, therefore I can't read your name, but it ends in the 3838. Awad themselves, Shazam 6669, nice. McCoy Wonderboy, G Smitty, um, Hyatt's Dom, Zero Sentry, 
uh, Helena Mortema, um, R.A. at Twilight, Rat Wizards, Frozen Boy, Jade XX, uh, Bonkebro, uh, Issa Draws, uh, Kitten Waifu, Fiji Water, Play-Doh 98, Virtual Boy Scout, Go Go 16, and then Teeny Bobini. Thank you for that. That was bonkers generous of you. I really appreciate that. That was super nice of you. So thank you kindly. Yeah, I third partied the victor of that fight, the end of night. Uh the end is night, I feel like um <laughs> I feel like it was the dragon, huh? I feel like the dragon probably beat the, the little guys, right? Probably. That's my guess. Let me go ahead and uh <gasps> I'm gonna go ahead and guess that. Oh, what in the halo? Did anyone else hear that? Like <laughs> I wish I had some like status effect skills. That would probably help a lot, huh? Give me back my runes! I wanna level up! Get them. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just let them, uh, I'm gonna let them uh, just tucker themselves out. I will hide in my tent of protection until such a time arises. Son of a bastard. All right, I will hide in, okay. Get them and then just an arrow goes past you. Exactly, get them. Yeah, you guys got this. Keep it up. He can't keep you down. What's that over there? Guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna check out. There's like something over here. It's crazy. I don't want it to bother you. What is there, like a tree? Yeah, that's a tree if I've ever seen it. Yeah, you got this. I'll always remember you, but buddy. Didn't I come from this direction before? I feel like I did. Yeah, okay, so we made a little loop-de-loop -loop situation here, because I originally came out of here after I got out of that fortress. Okay. Get him. You guys got this. Keep it up. He'll never stop you. You're never gonna die. <laughs> You've got him on the ropes. He's weak now. Yeah, you did it. I'll go for his wing. Honestly, it's not the worst strategy to just sort of go for his wing here. If I actually hit it. Yeah, there we go. God, that man could jump. What? You in every timeline will absolutely f up my life. You know what? I've always wanted to have a battle with a dragon in the background. And I'm going to ruin your day, sir. Oof. No way with your guard break. Oh, you just dropped it on my toe and I died? There's so many new people here tonight. You can't make me make this kind of impression. I have to be a pro elite jamer. No one will respect me. As someone who's broken their toe before, I kind of get it. I'm just like, I feel like I'd be down for the count too. You know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you. I'm gonna go there, collect all my like level up currency, and then I'm going to run back to uh, the main hub area and boost up my way up ons. 
and then I will come on back because I feel like there's some good old strategies I can employ, not just for this Dagron, but also um, everything going forward because we have those throwing knives. You got to utilize the throwing knives. We have a new spear that apparently I can also throw. It's a whole thing. No. I've grown past you guys. I'm being murdered by bigger things now. <laughs> Gimme them. Oh, come on. Okay, broken doors are horrible, says Musical Mayhem. Not as bad as broken hearts. You ever think about that? Hey, Musical Mayhem. Thank you so much for dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Appreciate you. Musical Mayhem says, hi, Damien. Hope you're having an amazing day. I am. Thank you. Um, I want to say thank you for being a comfort streamer for me as of late. I hope you have a fun time playing Elden Ring, and I hope it puts a smile on your face like you put one on mine. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I'm having a wonderful day. I've been very busy, um, but in a good way. And this is a nice comforting thing at the end of the day for me, too. Like I said, I haven't been exploring the DLC outside of what I've been playing with y'all. That being said, maybe I will at some point because it's going to be a quicker stream and I, I Jones, I'm Jones in for it. Jones in for some Elden Ring. Three hopes this time. Three hopes this time. Slide to the left. Um, all right. So we've got this throwing dagger situation and I'm curious. There's this extra throwing skill. Which does what? Which does what? Well, now, why would it show the dagger? Oh, it shows the skill. Throw armament with a powerful spin, causing it to bore through foes. When using the skill, the armament can be thrown further than normal, but also pierce through enemies. Isn't that what it already has, though? Yeah, it already has piercing throw. But it would just allow me to add a different throwable to it. Um throw wind forward that's interesting a bunch of magical stuff Ooh, a bunch of lightning stuff i can do that but i, I kind of want to add a um i definitely want to add a like a, a seven seeds johnson shout out delicious dungeon oh thank you so much i really appreciate you thank you um good luck sleeping plant face i believe in you you can do it um i definitely want to add a status effect thanks for stopping by too um Kick. That's so funny. Yeah, let me try to add a status effect. Let's see what happens if I do that. Blood down step allows me to. Oh, okay, it allows me to poison. That's a big deal. Though I would really want to. Does anyone know? Do any of the weapons allow you to do a rot status effect? I would sure like to. Ooh. I'm gonna try this real quick. Piercing wouldn't do that much, but it would at least do something. I think rot is weapon specific. Okay, that's good to know, Jonathan. Thank you. Let me actually look at these other weapons that we got too. I wanna see how viable they would be. So we got that new spear. We also got, it looked almost like a chakram. Okay, Smith script Cirque. It's a backhand blade. What? Circular backhand blade engraved with a Smith script. Throwing weapon created through the smithing arts. Execute a strong attack to throw the backhand blade, causing it to fly in a curved trajectory. That's awesome. Not great for dungeons, though. There's a lot of walls. Skill, blind spot. Leap into close quarters and take advantage of the enemy's blind spot and gore them from the side. Inputs determine which side you strike from. And then the backhand blade itself is also really good. Really interesting. I definitely want to try those out. Now we've got that other spear. Okay, so we got some backhand blade situations. Interesting. Okay, well, what I will do first is I know I'm going to want to level up this dagger. And I'm also going to level up this, uh, my milady. My blade called milady. Yes, it's cringe, I know. I care not. Smithing stone is what is needed for this. I'm going to do that. Yup, let's keep on going, buddy. Yeah, keep walking, pal. Yeah, keep going, buckaroo. 
Yeah, great. Thanks. Um, awesome. And then I'm also for funsies. I'm gonna level up the backhand blade because why not? We have we have the runes, and I'll probably end up wanting to use it at some point. So let's go. No, I'm gonna save it because I'm gonna get those martial arts weapons at some point. Okay, so now how much damage does that do? Still not crazy, so poison might be the best bet anyway. Oh, I'll lay out your arms. I shall Rowitz. Piercing throw. I'm gonna make it poison. 41 poison buildup is not bad, and the fact that I can just sort of do that is great. Okay. That'll be interesting. It'll be nice to have something that will apply something. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna buy some more level up stuff just because I have extra runes that I'm clearly about to lose in battle. I will clearly lose them in battle. I care not what happens to me, but I must protect my runes. Please, do anything for me. Oh man, I bought all the wrong stuff. Crap. <laughs> That's why it was so expensive. I was like, dang. Whatever. Everything's fine. Can you easily swap weapons in combat? You can, Demo Nacho. You gotta be kind of quick with it, but yeah. All right. Back to that little spot we go. Ruined Forge of Stolf, Stoffel Past. Um, we've got Hortuary <laughs> dropping 569. Nice. Uh, thank you so much, Hortuary, saying, so happy to be able to join in the stream. Uh, if I remember correctly, you like glowy glass, in which case expect a uranium glass clown figure in your P.O. box soon? That's awesome. Hortuary, thank you so much. I do have a little bit of uranium glass myself. Um, I keep it in a little display case, and I think that's really fun. Um, and so I don't go out of my way to collect much more than just that, but the fact that you're sending something, that's pretty cool. And I do like a good old clown figure. It's, uh, it's, it's right at home with me because otherwise it's, uh, spooky for people. Melisande! Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, you're being so sweet. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. How the heck are you? Raiders, welcome on in. I would ask what you were playing, but I feel like I may know. But out of curiosity, uh, y'all, Melly is a wonderful individual. Please uh, join me in following Melisande. Um, thank you so much, and shout out to you. Thank you, this is very sweet. Um, if you don't know me, hi, I'm Damien. I'm a voice actor, Twitch streamer. You may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smosh. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, and uh, tonight I was very late because I had a bunch of voice acting auditions that I wanted to get done first. And I took my sweet, sweet time, and here we are. Um, go kick some butt in there, you got it. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate you. This is very sweet. I hope to see you in person soon. If you're going to any of the cons around these parts, let me know. Um, but thank you again so much. Uh, the, the dear tipper that done tipped. Also, we got Chaotic Row. Drop in five. Flipping gift subs, too. Oh, come on. Just gonna hide in the grass like that while I'm on my pony? Rude. No! Sorry, one second. Well, I'm not kicking butt per request. Give me one second. Uh, get into Corsair, go Blue Monkey, uh, poor medical student. Uh, Melly, well, shoot, that one didn't count, I wasn't ready. I didn't know the rules, the sun was my eyes, my controller's broken. Uh, give me one second. Um, thank you so much for being here, y'all. Chaotic Rogue, thank you for doing that, that was very nice. All right, now I'm gonna hop in proper. If you have not seen me before, that never happened. We've never done that before, I've never died. Never died. <sighs> Doesn't count. All right, um, but thank you so much, yeah. Uh, also, new subscriber, everybody please give a spicy Clever Coop welcome to Mondi Pesos. Thank you very much. I've legit never seen you die. Sleepy little rider, you do close your eyes at the best points, huh? All right, so this area, I don't even have a, um, I don't even have a map for. Where's Dora's friend Boots when you need it? Um, I'm gonna go try to find that map first because clearly that's gonna keep coming up. Knowledge is the greatest weapon, and I don't have it.
Ooh, I hear the tinkly little sprinklings of one of those uh, bug creatures. Those little dung beetles that carry new skills for you. Yoo-hoo, beetle. I'm looking for the tiny sparkly beetle. Oh, there you are. I'm gonna ruin your day, sir. Uh, sir, I'm gonna ruin your day. Here we go. Get wrecked. Oh, beans. There we go. Gimme goodies. There we go. Nice. Oh, it's called a skill beetle? Like, where's that beetle that gives you skills? No, that's not the name. Um, Mortuary, thank you again. That was very sweet, and I look forward to it. Oh, is this a Mesma sign? Ember of Mesmer, that's right. Okay, so I'm skipping that dragon for now, because again, I'm super underleveled. And um, I kind of just want to explore it. Ooh, is there gonna be like a mausoleum situation around here? Can we grave rob? I'm sorry, I mean grave find? Oh my gosh. I was about to say passing through the archway, did I just get cursed? But there is a weeping ghost here. No, don't be rude. What's up, ghost? What's wrong? I can't even talk to them. Ember Topaz, thank you for the 100 bits. Oh my god, that person just attacked them in their own world. What's the, what's the problem? Can I just not do it? Wait. This allows me to heal people around me. What if I heal them? Yeah! Okay, you're not my friend. Didn't get healed. Do they respond if you attack them? I feel like I don't want to... I feel like I don't want to attack them. It's because I don't know what they're doing. Kind of a dangerous... Kind of a dangerous way to go about life. Like, that guy didn't say hey to me. I should probably fight him. Um, that looks like a whole situation that I would like to explore. Oh! Shattered Stone Talisman. Raises potency of kicking and stomping skills. Oh, because that guy's throwing a tantrum. Got it. Are they targetable? I don't believe they are. Um, I, I would like to unlock the martial arts in this game. I kind of can't wait. Okay, so that's why that guy's weeping. Um, hmm. Poke them with a stick. I'll spray them with dirty brown water. Did everyone try to jump down here? Oh, they tried to make their way downtown, walking fast faces past their homebound. Yeah, I feel like that's not the way down. Let me see here. What makes sense? Um, there's nothing that's particularly obvious. Unless that's a way. Let's see. Let's see how everyone else died here. Yeah. What did what did you do, bud? Oh, is it the exact thing I was about to try to do? Okay. Okay, yeah, I was also going to do that, so that looks uh, rough. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty far way down. I don't think I can do that. Oh, well. You did not just quote Creed in my chat. Yeah, I feel like that is... Ooh, hello. Statue? No, nothing to do with that? Okay. I was like, that's not good. Um, okay. Oh my god, I can stab him! Hello, sir. What's up? You okay? Whoa. I'm getting attacked? What? Windows installer, you can get French, you toast. What is going on? Okay, I'm back. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm alive. Oh my god, I got wrecked. That was like legit ghost moments. That was like... So I so I just had to fight him now, I guess? What's wrong with the door, dude? That was actually really spooky. I kind of love it. I have to kill him honorably. Yep! Just a thing of fruit? I feel like I wasn't supposed to do that. Um, oh my gosh! Uh, Sylphie dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Let's go! Sylphie, thank you so much for gifting too. Um, 
Indomitable Moxie, Zalian Red, Troglodyte 16, South Weezed, um, Hazmat, Probably Owls, Sephiroth's Fury, Shadow Monkey, Complex Warcry, and then Hate to see C8. H hate to say Kate. I don't know. Um, thank you very much, Sylvia. I appreciate that a lot. That was very nice of you. That was bonkers nice. Yeah, this whole situation was just weird timing. Let's see if there's a better way to get down there. Get down. Yeah. He was coming right at me. I dog, I had to. You saw it. You all saw it. Um Yeah, okay, that's not better. We're just starting from above. That's not better. Oh, stop, you. You and your noise. It's such a weird spot to give us. That's a very patches spot. It seems like repelling should be a skill here. I don't think repelling is a thing. I don't think we get to attack on Titan. See, they want me to focus on the other dude. But I'm going to focus on both of you. I believe in killing both of you. There we go. That felt appropriate. I wish I'd run into all these other enemies first. Because when I saw that guy crying, I was like, he's the only one of his kind. I've got to be careful. Okay, this is the way down, clearly. I hope. Clearly, obviously, I hope. This looks correct to me. Yeah, that's a short enough distance. A short enough distance. A short enough speed. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall. And I'll break my knees. I'm gonna go in that area in a second, but let's see what's down there. Yeah, I'm gonna want to go down there for sure. Need to heal up. Need to magic up. Uh, Sylvie, thank you again for that. Uh, let's see here. We got Shibugi Alarm Pants dropping three flipping bucks. Thank you, Shibugi Alarm Pants. I'm gonna be very careful in this spooky dark cave. Seems like the order of the day. Oh, uh, ghost dogs. And it's not a movie starring Forrest Whitaker. I'll tell you that much right now. Ooh. White flesh mushroom. Delicious. I think we just found our lunch. No item ahead. Well, okay. What's the best tasting monster in Elden Ring? I think when we do our, our Lyos run, we'll have all those discussions. I think we'll go full full-fledged on it and decide. First off, east, then west. First off, east, then weast. First off, east, then seek weast. Yeah, but, oh, we actually have a compass rose, good. Seek joy. Golden horn tender, yum yum. Oh, that's uh, terrifying. Oop. Love actually helpful messages. I know, it's so rare, huh? More messages up here. Death ahead. You can't tell me what to do. Oh my god, there is stuff down there, though. Why is it always I did it? Dumb, right? This better be the most worth it place in the world. Also, I haven't found a checkpoint, a little sight of grace in the longest time. And that's dangerous. So I'm gonna actually try to sneak my way just directly in there. Nope, didn't work. Running. 
Oh my god, it's just that golden arx? Okay, great. Um, um, oh my god. Elizabeth the Golden Age, let's go. Yeah. Go in there. Okay. Nothing to the right. Ooh. Shadow Sunflower. That's spooky and cool. Anything down here? No, no, no. Lie it ahead. Lie it ahead. Router, router. Okay. I think we're making our way downtown, walking fast faces past, and we're homebound. Oh, Shibuki Alarm Pants, thank you again for the three bucks. Um, they say, hi, Damien. I went to Six Flags Water Park with my fam and had a blast. Some water uh, slide and uh, chilled at a wave pool. By the way, water slide with the trap door. If y'all remember the vine, oh, hell nah. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways, sending my love to you in the coop. Thank you so much. I feel like I couldn't do <laughs> secret tunnel. I feel like I couldn't do the trap door water slides. You know what I mean? Because the, the anticipation and that like sudden jolt, I feel like that would freak me out and kind of stop me from enjoying the slide. How was it for you? Um, that sounds super fun though. And I, I kind of remember the vine. So I'm gonna yes and it. I'm gonna yes and you for that one. When you simply dodge the trap door. Yeah, I'd have to turn off my instincts. Yeah. Also I'm worried like, I'd, I feel like I'd hit my chin. I feel like I'd be the one guy a year that like hits their chin. They're like, yeah, his bones came clean out. It sucks. It was like a, uh, when you really get the, sh the shrimp real good and you just separates from the tail, his bones just came clean out. So we're sorry, but at least he died what he loved doing. Being stupid. Oh, well, yeah, there you go, Wayward Jaybird. My friend had to get surgery after a trapdoor water slide and I've been afraid of them ever since. I mean, there you, there you go. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear it. Um, wow. Goodness. All right. Oh, so if you are new to this game and haven't seen it before, a lot of these pots are alive. And while some are enemies, some are friends. And they are alive enough to have their own villages and civilizations. So I'm kind of curious. Kind of curious what kind of situations they have available to us here. Will this be a battle situation? Will it be an absolute ruins with no friends? Or will it be friendship time? This is a huge town of... Pots. Wow. Oh, God. Okay, I thought that was your son. I'm sorry. Let's see. I'm not seeing any of these. Maybe this is where the... These pots are made. Oh, that's one. That's a something. Well, that looks like an enemy. Friend city. Oh, that's sweet. Friend city, baby. Oh, that guy's crying at one. Yeah, that makes sense. You there. Who goes there? He's coming right for me. I have to. Yeah, these are the leveled up poison things that I forgot about. Yeah, they really don't have a range, do they? Until you do that. There you go. That's great. I love it. Ooh, that guy looks serious. Greater potentate? Potentate? What's potentos, precious? A lot of moaning and sad and sad people. Um, so for those of you that are new, the, the lore of these corpse jars, um, they are filled with the corpses of the dead. Many times warriors made into a kind of like a people goo and they are enchanted as, as jars and they're strong. They walk around, they have their own thoughts and feelings. It's weird. <laughs> Soup City, says the cat girl warrior. That's insane, and I kind of love it. Walking soup coffins. Yep, well, that takes all the sadness out of the lore. Yep, they're just soup coffins. If you like soup dumplings, boy, do I know how you want to be buried. That's right. They became pot of greed. All right, so I saw that guy over there, right? So I saw that guy over there, and I says to him, Guy, I says, um, let's do battle. Where was he? He was over here. Where was he? 
It's like, yeah, Greater Potato Man. You there, Greater Potato Man. Whoop, keeps freaking me out, bro. I'm hearing some like, no, 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 no. Oh, it's that crying dude again. What's up, Greater Potato? Die forever. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I didn't mean it. I was just kidding. Battle me if you dare, stupid. Now you will die today. Because you're dumb, hard and stupid as a butt. I admire your lack of armor. Today's the day you die today, today. Quit sharpening. This is not Monster Hunter, dude. You can't just sharpen your stuff like in the middle of battle. Die forever, dude. Silly goose. This is that why you die. Now I know we didn't exchange words and you could very well have been a friend or something, but you know, I feel like that's on you. I cast Scroll of Greater Potato. Bonnie butchery knife. Oh, that's a bonny butchery knife, isn't it? Oh, look at that bonny lad. That bonny knife. Quite a large knife, isn't it? Sacred butchering knife versus bonny butchering knife. That's fascinating. They look the same. This one does more base damage, but with no holy. Weapon of the greater potentates of Bonnie Village. An outsized butcher's cleaver used to dismember human bodies in the making of the great jars stored in the jails. It restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. Interesting. Um, do you play any other... Uh, thank you for the bits, uh, Suvicon. Do you play any other TTRPGs other than D&D? Um, I've tried Blades in the Dark before. I've tried, um, what is it, Scum and Villainy? Is that the one? Um, and I'm, I'm looking into trying Kids on Bikes. But, uh, I, no, I haven't really, like, fully gotten into them yet, but I'd like to. I hear Pathfinder's pretty cool. I just, there's only so much time in the day for a hyperfixation, eh? But, one of these days, excuse me, I'm sure I'll get around to all of it. So this is where they make the, are you throwing rocks at me? Who does that? What kind of guy are you? What kind of person are you, man? Bro. Oh, uh, oh. Kids on Bikes is my favorite, and I TTRPG for a living. Really? It's your favorite, eh? I'll have to look into it. Thank you. Hey, man. Knife. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, don't do that, please, actually. Who does it? Who, who's the jokester? Who threw rocks? Die forever. Oh, the jails are where they really make the jars. They're making the jars for the jails. So they're actually just making the jars here. Are you sure the end is nigh? Because that guy has a butcher's knife and it says, yes, it's used in the making of jars and it's used to hack up human flesh and bone, which is what's in the jars. So I'm like, would they... Would they put that somewhere else? Open the door or I'm gonna throw rocks through your window. Great, great reference that you've typed there. Boo hoo hoo. Uh, this is how I cry. Boo hoo hoo. Uh, this is how I cry. Oh, there's another potato man. Well, well, well. I guess your friend didn't tell you about how easy it is for me to defeat you. Hey, man. Die forever. Oh, God. That's too much. Like, that's too direct of a hit for him to do. To me, I don't like it, actually, very much. Die forever. 
I can jump too, you know. I can jump too, you know, Potato Man. May you be scalloped. Oh. Oh, for a second I thought he was wearing a like a facial covering like Gold Mask does in, in the base game. And I was like, that's actually interesting. I love the look of this weapon art. I did it. I killed them all. Not just the adults, but the women and the younglings too. What, they were all ghosts and they appeared to be the ghosts of adult men? All right, well, that's actually fine then. I don't want to assume their gender, but they, they definitely weren't kids. I hate sand. It's used for silicon production, which makes computer chips, which always makes me bleed when I chew them. That's my favorite line. Horse. House. That's actually very funny. <laughs> for a stable. Uh, this would be a uh, horse house. You very, very quiet. I'm a do moto. I'm gonna do moto twice. Hey man, stop. Yo, I'll get you! Stay still or I can't hurt you! That's my least favorite like trope in any fantasy thing. The giant's like, hold still! I can't kill you if you're moving. Hey, stop, actually. Uh, have I ever read or watched Sandman? Yes, I read it when I was like in high school going into college. Um, so it's been a minute, obviously, but uh, uh, in terms of watching it, of course, I watched the recent iteration on Netflix. I thought it was great. That was great. All right. That was a lot of murder we done did. Um, Rabbits on Chalk, thank you for gifting a sub to Shen Valley Mama. I appreciate you. The Gin Giraffe is dropping six, 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 box, 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 and 90 cents. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, The Gin Giraffe, saying hello, friends and fellow geese wranglers. I had a great time watching the Um Actually episode this season. Watching everyone idle was amazing. If you can speak on it, are there any filming or process differences working at Smosh versus Dropout? Thank you. Um... I don't know. Sometimes companies are pretty specific about what they do and don't share with the public. So I, I want to be a little bit careful and respectful of, you know, what is not my place to say. What I will say, you know, is is naturally very different is, you know, Dropout had all three of us on for Um Actually, and we were all guests. And so I think it takes a lot of trust where, you know, Ify is fantastic, obviously, and he very much runs the show. But also when you have three guests, Ideally, as a host, you're going to let them sort of run with things and banter back and forth and yada, yada, yada. So I think if he's really good at that. But yeah, I mean, the fact that it was three guests that were the main focus of the show, that's that's a lot of trust. And it's certainly very different from um, how Smosh is, because even if Smosh has guests, it might be like one person, two people versus, you know, eight regulars. You know what I mean? So... Um, that's a great question, though, and I appreciate you asking it. But I don't think I can get too much more specific than that. Respectfully. Oh. Oh, Mother is a... Prayer balled up. What do you want? Rest. The ring. Oh. Um. Let's swap that for... Yeah, the Oh, Mother one. That's... That's really interesting. Oh, mother. Sorry, one second. Oh. This is fascinating. It's a, I, I, it's almost like penance. It's like, I lay my blade to you. I offer my life in whatever punishment you see fit. Precious item ahead, offer ahead. And Time for head. Oh yeah, they got hereditary for sure. Um, that's fascinating. That's gonna be that's gonna be storyline related. I know we're gonna find a point where I'm going to have to 
actually like use that. It's gonna be really interesting. It's gonna be really, really interesting. And I look forward to finding that spot. I love how they're just like, we're going to have zombies everywhere, maybe a few dragons, and then uh, jerboas. Jerboas, little mouse kangaroos are going to be running everywhere. All right. Uh, but Ginger F, that was a great question, and thank you. Um, Leah Bug dropping $20.69. Nice. Uh, that was very generous of you. Thank you. This is too open of a field. I feel like a boss fight is going to start now. Like something's landing right here. There's no way. Oh, hi, little dear. <gasps> They're friends. Okay, bye. Um, Leahbug, thank you very much for that. That was really nice of you. Um, saying thanks for streaming. Anxiety is at an all-time high. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. Uh, glad to have the distraction. Still waiting on an offer for my job interview two weeks ago. Okay. Don't count yourself out, but that definitely sounds very anxiety-producing. I don't blame you. My friend who works there says, I have it in the bag, but I'm so, so ready to move on. Have a good night. I wish you well. Fingers crossed. You got this. Please keep us posted. Tell us in the Discord first if you get it, unless you want to save it for a stream, but, um... Fingers crossed for you, seriously. Um, I, I, I don't know, knock on wood, I think you got this. Uh, but thank you, yes, I'm glad to distract you. Look, geez, uh, look, a little mushroom from the show that we like. Uh, Papa Moon X, thank you for dropping five flipping gift subs to Carcade, Odyssey Dave, uh, Offrey38282, Kurisu CRI, and then TR Whiplash. Thank you so flipping much. Bonkers nice of you. Bonkers nice of you. Oh my gosh, my hair is so floofy. I have to get up so early. I'm uh, doing a fun shoot tomorrow. Fun shoot, a rare treat. I mean, a lot of the shoots I do are fun, but this will be a rare, this is a rare specific one. Show Muriel, please. <laughs> He's all green, I feel bad. All right, let me see. Muriel, pastor of vows. Little turtle friend. Little turtle friend and little mushroom friend. Right. For pity's sake, you are placed in the jar. I say to itself, raise you within. For zombies like you, this is your lot. Oh, interesting. I for you accorded for this low. Wow, interesting. So it's almost a holy position to be in the jar. But they're just like, I don't want to be put in the jar. Yeah, because that's actually horrifying. I've got a friend who loves teeth. What? I know my dentist is making one. I know he's keeping my teeth for something. That's insane. Tooth? It's actually the sound that um, Spider-Man makes when he is doing his webs. It's whip, whip. So it's tooth whip. There's tooth whips. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm, I don't even feel bad about it, but it do hurt. It does hurt my tummy. To say it. Um, tooth whip. Uh, whip strewn with rotting, misshapen teeth, filthy and seething with disease. The teeth are embedded in the whip and dose the victim with deadly poison upon each strike. As the wounds ripen, they grow inflamed and ooze, but dear God, uh, the flesh of shamans was said to meld harmoniously with others. Oh. Okay. So it's like a nerd's rope. Got it. Tooth whip kind of goes hard, not going to lie. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it's a fun craft project. I don't know how usable it would be. Okay, so there's a... Oh, that is... That's a bunch of graves down there. Okay, where would that be connected to? Okay, so there's clearly a spot down here somewhere that's going to connect from the down below. It's going to be some kind of cave. I can't even tell what that is down there, but that's actually extremely spooky. Um, all right. Yeah, there's blood spots and messages. What what are people saying here? Bridgehead. Oh, thank you. Uh, Bridgehead. Okay, that's good. 
Fine. There's blood stain. There we go. Okay, I guess I don't have to worry about that kind of danger. It was like, oh, how'd he get damaged? Ah, snake, be ready for boss. No boss head, therefore time for stealth. Everyone's saying snake. Wait a minute, is this gonna be a stealth section? Like as in snake. Huh, Colonel. Apparently there's a guy that's there, that's me. Oh, wait a minute. Did, did Papa Moon X do five different gift subs twice? No, it just happened the once. Okay, I don't know why it like marked it twice. That's interesting. Okay, never mind. Turn back says amateur nail art. No, I gotta go get my I gotta get my thing. Gotta go get my little my little safe point. Watch this be the scary thing I saw on TikTok. Well, I don't know. I'm I don't I haven't been watching the spoilery stuff, and also at the same time, um I, I generally in this you didn't do that, but I also just this for anybody new. Ideally, ideally, unless I'm asking about it, I prefer if people don't, you know, say things like, oh, this next part's going to freak you out. Cause, and then it doesn't feel natural. Like, I kind of want to be surprised. You didn't do that. But I'm just saying, hey, just in case people go like, uh oh, this is going to be a thing. You know, I prefer to don't, please. Um, I'm just walking around here first to see what's up. If, if I have to do stealth, Behold, boss, all the more visions of despair. Behold, boss, all the more visions of despair. Visions of dragon. This is insane. This is some Final Fantasy IV right here. Um, okay. Well, the good news is, if they're... Yeah. If, Hello? If we need to stealth, there are spells that make us walk silently, which is nice. Heck, they're even, um, they're even talismans that do that. What I hear, what I hear, what I'm hearing, what am I hearing? Oh, what is that? What is that? Somewhere a great rune has broken? And so too has a powerful charm? What? What does that mean? Big lore moments, says Jonathan. Yeah, I can't piece that together yet. I don't know what that means. Wait, a great rune? So too has a powerful charm. Who would still have their great rune? Let me think about this. So for anyone who's new here, the great runes are like, it's part of the Elden Ring. It's a big part of the lore in the game, but the, the, there are many gods that have their own runes that are part of the Elden Ring, which is the biggest power in the, I don't even know. Um, so we've gotten a few from bosses that have been defeated, but if one just broke, it's not even like theirs broke once we defeated them, we just get it. So the fact that one broke I wonder if someone is like renouncing their godhood or people have in the story before like repaired parts of the Elden Ring with themselves somehow or put like a piece of themselves in it. In fact, that's kind of what you do at the end of the game when you're picking your ending. It's like, how do you want to keep things going? Do you put fix it and put it back together or, you know, do it with the parts of the god that you're now choosing? Um, so I'm really curious. I'm, I wonder if it's like the boss that I'm sort of expecting at the end of the game doing the final step of like relinquishing their godhood as a god of the above area. Hmm. Either way, it's going to be real neat to figure out. Oh god, no! Okay. No. Okay. Well, that's a lost cause. In the sea there the hero Son of a bastard! I'm so sorry, everyone. Boo. Boo. <laughs> Liggity split TTV. A very spicy, clever coop. Welcome to you. Thank you for subscribing. Um, we've got Midnight Vixen Fox drop in. Six, 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 box, box, box. 69 cents. Nice. Uh, thank you very much. Um, Twatha says, what did I miss? Uh, Cliff. Cliff happened. Um, well, uh, Midnight Vixen Fox, thank you so much. Saying, hey, Damien Hubs made a Twitch account to start streaming. Oh, that's super fun. I love that. He uses one of those virtual persona avatar things and he's doing so good. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a VTuber or a PNG tuber. Either way, I think that's great. I'm thinking of getting one now because I feel very self-conscious about my appearance and it made, made stream less. Uh, crossing fingers. Well, have a wonderful time. Um, I think that's fantastic. And shout out to your husband, or, um, you know, my best to your husband in, in that endeavor. 
I've got plenty of friends that uh, do VTubing stuff. In fact, most voice actors I know who want to get into streaming, it seems like the trend is almost all of them exclusively start as um, uh, VTubers. Uh, and I think that's just because maybe a lot of people are more comfortable not being seen on camera, but are giving a voice. Oh, and also for anybody who's new here, because I did see just something out of the corner of my eye, so I'm going to wait for it to get scooted away. When it comes to, like, lore things or whatever, sometimes I'm, uh, if I'm going to, like, ask and want an answer, I will specifically, like, turn to chat and be like, what's going on? How does that work? Otherwise, um, sometimes I'm just trying to piece stuff together in my, in my brain while I'm playing, or maybe I'm bringing new people along for the ride and giving them, like, an insight into what I'm thinking right now or what the questions are. So I'm, um, I, I try to, uh, otherwise avoid things because I'm trying to have as natural of an experience as possible. What's the difference between VTubers and PNG tubers? PNG tubers use a PNG, you know, with a clear, transparent background, like, ooh, okay, um, like you would get uh, from like a Google Images or something, um, and it just sort of has like, you know, it, it goes back and forth between different sort of portraits um, to match the tone that you're feeling or what you're saying, and then VTubers have that sort of uh, rig of 3D. Uh, set to what they're doing there. Ah, uh, this is terrifying. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Why can't I jump, dude? What the French toes? That's stinky. Hey, Billy Ray, we got a party of 108. Wow, Billy Ray, Team Billy, Team Ray Bands. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for joining. I didn't die. That one doesn't count. I wasn't ready and I didn't know the rules and my controller is broken and the sun's in my eyes. Um, if you're new here, hi, my name is Damien. I'm a voice actor, Twitch streamer. You may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smosh. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. And um, in this here uh, section of the game, I am trying to do a little jumpy situation. Uh, I started stream super late tonight, so we're actually going a little bit later than normal. Um, this character's super underleveled, and we're having a great time. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Billy, I, I would ask what you were doing on your stream, but I'm almost certain the answer would be more Elden Ring, right? Yes? No? Yeah? Hello, I am a raider, says the Cappy King. Big if true! Um, thank you for being here. Welcome on in. Also, Goofy Goober... Goofy, Goofy Goober Aryan also riding in with a party of ten. Oh my gosh! Elaine, you've got... Two tables now. I know you're about to go on your break, but now you have a party of 108 and a party of 10. Yes, sir. We beat three mini bosses and one big boss boy, big boy boss. Ooh, congrats to you. We've only taken down a handful of mini bosses here, which has been fun. Like I said, we're a little under leveled. Well, what? Hi, double raid. That's very sweet. Thank you very much for that, y'all. I also just saw a colossal sub bomb from someone that I believe said 50 people, which is insane. So thank you. Um, these wolves were coming right for me. I kind of had to. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna read those out in a second. Thank you so flippin' much. That is bonkers generous. Um, I'm gonna try to scoot past this here fire giant. And fuego gigante. And then, yes, to the sky I go. You'll never be able to kill me in the sky. Grass. Okay. Um, neat. I feel like I have only uh, gotten to a location that is more dangerous than I was at. So that's actually super cool for me now. Um, and I hate that he does that to me. Butterfly in the sky. I got my twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. By a giant. I can do anything. Um, I don't think I've been in this area before. Oh, I certainly haven't. Oh wait, is this near the ghost flame dragon? What are you guys doing just sitting there? Go, oh, my wolf army. It is time to rise up. Not against me. You bastard man. You absolute bastard man. Um, hey, spooky tower in the distance, sign me the heck up. This is a Scooby-Doo situation, and if they taught me anything, it's that the first guy we met today is probably the one who did it. Let's go! 
All right, I think the last thing I'm gonna do on stream tonight is explore whatever is up in that spooky old tower on the hill. Um, let's go. But first, before I do that, gotta read out that giant sub bomb from Strawberry Short Dilf. Incredible name. Thank you for dropping 50 flipping gift subs. That's insane. I really appreciate it. You never have to do that, and that's bonkers of you to do. Um, thanks for helping this community grow. Anyone who's gifted a sub, you get to join the Discord now. Um, and also you get the emotes and all that good stuff. Um, they are gifting to, uh, Eidolog. Um, let's see, uh, Lingy, I guess. Zingai GT, the, re the really real mayonnaise. Uh, El Spartan, Rotten Milk 615. We got Buddha Rich, Femboy Goober, uh, Arombo Lush, uh, JM4, what's up to Seals with Wheels, OMG BBQ FTW, uh, Matilda B, uh, Nalavale, Nalavale, um, Cargor2, FMDia, um, Nezadas, Astrophy, Mystic, we've got Thrombosis Jones, Tiny Tubin, uh, Lutsuki, uh, Digital Advantage, Halo Joe22, Volcanic uh, PM, we got Rigrag88, uh, Gizmo, uh, Spez Trashmelon, Sam the Tired, uh, Schwartzier, uh, The Glamorous Feral Cryptid, Bobby Tastic, Local Lizard 04, It's, uh, excuse me, Iltmis 07, uh, Scornful Smiles, we got Geode, The Wildren Hawk, The One Judge Lord, Not Real Ginger, Nisto, uh, Cap'n Shibe, Kinfolk 923, uh, Drusella79, Unmucky, Coda Queen, Unknown MXR, Grey Pelt, uh, Corvo the Alien, Brother Boogan, and then Black Docia, Strawberry Short Dilf. I greatly appreciate you. And that was real nice of you. Um, that's crazy. And they're also gifting. Whoa, they're also gifting to Arc071, the Cappy King, and Corboom. Thank you for doing that. Um, that's wild, bonkers, generous of you. Thank you so much. We've also got uh, Midnight Purple gifted to Hey Billy Ray. Welcome, Billy Ray. Now you're an official pigeon of the coop. Um, thank you for that. And Strawberry Short Delph is also gifting to X Demons Run. Um, thank you. That was really nice. Really nice. Thank you very much. Wow. Goodness gracious. This next battle is for you, Strawberry Short. You know what's making me laugh is I, I keep hearing the like strawberry shortcake from the commercials. You know, from the toy. Rabbits. Ra rabbits rise. Duck rise. Fire. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Here. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Nice. Sorry. Didn't mean to. It attacked me first. Seems familiar. Yes, it does. This is like an area in the base game. So anyone magic kind of gets their own tower. Likely rump. Sorry. Didn't mean to. Hmm. Let's see. There's got to be enemies in here. There's got to be something. Can't be this easy. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? For a second there? Yeah. Kind of did. Attacking ahead. Oh, my God. An actual false wall. That never happens. Lorraine CBX. Thank you for dropping 10 flipping gift subs. Gifting to J Warrior, Chamoy, uh, Cider 0399, Calcifer 2, uh, Megios, Daedra, uh, Ducey, uh, Mike Waddlebar, Fire Mutt, and then Appy Bappy. Thank you very much for that. Very nice. Y'all, this has been the most sub bomb heavy stream I've had like in a minute, so thank you. Um, oh. Oh, is that what I can I unlock a more jumpy area near where that giant was, maybe? There's another unsealed area with the giant. I do want to explore. I'll explore that before stream ends, that's for sure. I'm gonna do that. Seek Spirit Spring. I thought I just did, though. Oh, it's telling me to go back and find whatever the Spirit Spring did. Can I not jump down there? Would it do danger? Would it do damage at me? Oh, seek Spirit Spring. Got it. They were basically telling me, like, hey, there's actually a Spirit Spring unlockable around here. So we're going to do this. Uh, there we go. Okay. That was a really roundabout way to get me to do that one thing, but sure. I... 
really feel like that spirit spring jumbo thing would have to be over there. Right? If it's not, so be it. I feel like it could be. Is there's one spirit spring. We knew about that one. Sorry, pony. Sorry, pony. Could there be one up there as well? Because otherwise, I don't really see the point in this unless it's supposed to be used to battle this mouse in an interesting way. Hey, so there is no spirit spring up here. I guess it would have shown the, like, the, the startings of one, huh? No. Hey, man. Looks like a big soup dude. This is the largest soup dude of all. And those are the soup dumples trying to murder me, as most soup dumples do. Okay, so if that spirit spring didn't do anything. And these little trees are just little trees. What flavors of soup? Oh, Desilu, the the opportunities are endless with, with soup flavors. You got beef, veggie, seafood, chicken, end of list. Um, strawberry short tilt. You just like just like making me say your name, huh? Dropping another 10 flipping gift subs. Thank you so much. Ooh, these automated mannequin things. Interesting. I haven't seen them in a minute. Strawberry Short Dilf, thank you so much for that. Gifting to uh, Cyber Tooth, uh, Ange Cloud, uh, Captain Ghouls, Hallie X Marie, um, Bloodless 0618, uh, Geodrite, Cosmic Cat Studio, uh, Teflon Paladin, Eye of Arrow, and then Ploppy32. Thank you so very much for that. Also, they gifted to, um, oh my God, there's more. They gifted, no, 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 excuse me. Sir, I was reading, which you can't do because you're a doll. Tell Pinocchio, I say, screw you when you get to heck. Um, Strawberry Short Delph is also gifting to The End Is Nigh, and me, uh, Thimbleby, uh, Anime OW069, and then Eddie No Music. Thank you so flippin' much for that. I really appreciate it. That's wild. The generosity is insane. And I, I, I thank you from the heart of my bottom. Also, wait, 69 subs? <laughs> nice. Um, thank you for that. Amazing. Funny number indeed. I appreciate you. Let's murder this man. Oh, I thought it would give us some air. Stop it. Uh, stop guns akimboing me with your magic. Ignore the arrows. Ignore the arrows. If you pay attention to them, they only become more powerful. Nice. I'm going to find where the thing is. That's also such a cool church situation. I want to go in there. I don't want to end stream. I have to get up super early, but I... Mm, 19 more minutes. I say 19 more minutes. Gosh, my nose is so, like, puffy runny tonight. I'm sorry. This is probably not fun to watch. Um. Yeah, there's some little guys over there. You see some little guys. Two other little guys. This is beautiful. I would go to school here. Like so. You wish to learn at Dead Guy Academy, do you? Like, oh, yes, sir. Oh, very much. Oh, I've never I've never gone to Dead Guy Academy. Oh, there's a safe spot. There's a little Sight of Grace. Squamp Church? Yeah. Welcome to Squamp Church. The first rule of Squamp Church is you got to learn how to season your scrimps. I say, yes, sir. And then they teach me how to season my scrimps. This is so spooky, and I love it. I would live in a location like this. Anime Oa, thank you for the 100 bits. I would live in a spot like this. Tumbleweed, it's coming right for me. Had to. That was a warning shot. You. Lost Grace discovered. 
Like, I have been in the woods for three years. Like, Grace, yeah, we missed you. When you didn't come back with the group, we just thought you were busy. Like, no, I've been lost. You guys weren't looking for me. No, we just came back on a three-year anniversary of our trip. Damien, can you show the map for two seconds, please? Yes, Cathedral of Monus Meter. The Monus Meter is off the charts. We got too much Monus in here. Mage ahead. And then, time for the fingers. Will this be a battle? I'm quite curious. Yeah, this will be a fight. Unless it's a really interesting conversation that we get to have. Blood loss. Oh, blood loss. I'm for madness. Yeah, this. I don't think this is going to be a friend one. Lots of little blood stains. What if I didn't fight him? I was just like, hey, actually, over here looks really interesting. I think I'll go see that. Rump. Too high up. God dang it. Off the rump. Gosh dang it. <laughs> oh! Map required ahead. And then, try night. Oh! Map required. So I'm gonna need to have the map... And then you come back at night, huh? That's really interesting. Um, yeah, different things happen in game at different times. So I think I want to, I, I definitely want to mark this so I don't forget. I wonder if there's a symbol for evening. There isn't. What would be the nighttime thing? Um, you know what? Certain herbs grow better under the light of the moon. Okay. Spooky little, uh, cemetery, right? Cemeteries are attached to churches. Graveyards are things on their own, right? Or am I crazy? Oh, that's like a sarcophagus. It's the other way. Ah, oh, man. Well, a lot of people are saying, yeah. It is the other way. See, okay. I always think it's the other way and I mess it up so much that I'm like, no, 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 it's the other way. So I get it right and then I flip flop it. I second guess myself. With remembrance duplication menu, you can duplicate remembrances you've previously acquired. This includes remembrances from which you've already drawn out power. Duplication can only be performed once per mausoleum. Nice. So I could get a second one of Moog's stuff. This is all pretty interesting. I'm gonna hold off on it though. I'm gonna remind myself though. This is how you remind me that you're Oh, it's a turtle. I'm not gonna bug him. A skeleton. Is someone trying to arrow me? Well, get wrecked forever. No. Cheating. Uh, got too many arms, bro. You're like Goro from Mortal Kombat. Rude. Uh, that's why I do this. <laughs> get wrecked, kid. Nice. Nice. Who dares? Oh god, I whipped his shin. It's the Demon Slayer training dummy. Exactly. <laughs> Don't you get it, you fool? You are Kimetsu, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Tanjiro Kamado. I almost went into the, like, the, the, uh, you know, it's like, your name is Kampachiro. Sayu VTuber. Yo. Y'all, Sayu is the kindest individual and deeply funny. 
I get so many of your TikToks. And then I went over to Fish's place the other day and Fish was watching some Sayu streams. What is up, y'all? Welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid, Sayu. What were you up to this evening other than mischief and no good? If you guys are new here, my name is Damien. I'm a fellow voice actor, a Twitch streamer. You may also know me from the YouTube channel, Smosh. Um, a Honey Pop tournament? Really? That's interesting. I didn't know Honey Pop was competitive. But I also don't really know anything about Honey Pop. Uh, so many new followers. I appreciate you, y'all. Thank you so much. I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday for those who are interested. This is Elden Ring uh, playing the new DLC with my very underleveled character. Been streaming about five and a half years. No, no, it was Honkai. That sounds more right. I'm like, I feel like you're getting in troll. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that's delightful. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thank you for your very kind tweet about my video that I did with Anthony. That was really cool to see. Um, I sent a thank you tweet, but it's nice to say it here too in live time. Um, thank you so much, y'all. I greatly appreciate that. Yeah, um, this character is, what is his level? He is, he's like 18 levels under leveled for the start of the DLC. And we are smack in the middle so for anybody who just popped in thank you so much for being here um i understand how raids go if you've got to bounce out that's totally okay um but thanks so much for stopping by in the first place and i hope we get to see you another time um okay before i slaughter a bunch of uh, wolves everybody please remember i'm the good guy and that we root for me and that i have to because they're coming right for me you voiced laos i did luzra i did indeed i've been voice acting God, like 13 years now um but laos is definitely a more well-known one that is more current and i love the role and i'm very proud of it so yeah um i've got a little little mushroom friend right here <laughs> okay i should probably uh not die there we go oh planets for pluto thank you so much that was really sweet um sayu i don't know if you ever just go by your first name or if you go by sayu fully in this situation but uh sayu hope to see you soon at a con or something i'm sure we'll have some crossover soon or we can just kick it. Um, wait, look at that mannequin over there. It looks like he has his uh, arms on his hips where he's like, ah, I told him not to plant that tree next to the church. It ruins it because you can't see the castle in the background. No, Dave, because you can't see the castle in the background. You got to think about others. I don't care if it's shady. There's other spots for shade. All right. I think it's time for some... Da -da 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 -da. Ah, I can't do it. There we go. Everybody, uh, do, uh, do that Star Wars music in your brain. I have high ground! Okay, cool. Honestly, it's ba 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 Oh, yeah, Remy, I was in clearance. That's so funny. Um, thanks for shouting that out. Duel of the Fates, thank you. I was like, now of all times, I can't remember the name of it, and so I'm just gonna say that Star Wars music and lose all nerd cred, and that's okay. But I also feel like that's one of those that you see, like, memes of, where you can just type it out, and someone goes like, what's that song that goes that that a lot? And then people are like, oh, I know which one you're talking about. It's the Star, Star Wars. Just so you know, I wouldn't have killed you if that tree wasn't right there. See, David, I'm serious. Uh, alrighty. Hey, Strawberry Short Dilf is also gifted a sub to Ye Yang. Um, thank you so much for doing that. Doot, 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 doot. See, now, now we're getting in Nardwar, t Nardwar territory. Dot, dot, a lot. You're Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. We have to know. Hey, man. Uh, die forever. Stop with the arrows, dude. It's cheating, bro. I love how big the arrows are. They're just sticking out of your body. Like, I'm gonna walk it off, it's fine. You son of a bastard! As we're hanging out with friends, I've got raided by Sayu the YouTuber. This is my time to shine, and you've ruined my life. Oh, I've missed uh, tips from a long time ago. I'm very sorry, one second. Oh yeah, I'm way behind. Um, well that sucks, that's a lot of... They're doing the Halo thing! Mm -hmm. 
for anybody who is new here um i'm not usually quite this energetic quite this late but i'm digging it and for those of you that i promised i would be wrapping up stream soon i'm not gonna now because we've got a big old raid and a bunch of new friends here and i also don't want to because i'm stubborn and i really want to battle these guys what done stole my runes from my body Arcane Shadows is down for it. Woot! Thank you. <gasps> that looks like a special tree. That's how they compromise. They're like, we can't we plant a sad ass Charlie Brown Christmas special tree? You know, there's not gonna be any uh, shade. It's barely a tree legally, but like, still. Desi Lou, thank you for dropping 10 flipping gift subs just in time for new friendos to be here. Gifting to Dark Phoenix, the Alolan Vulpix, Vitamin T, um, Boogie MJ, Aust217, Mikan RR, uh, Kolek, the Fighting Nerd, Mr. Frick, 12 or 13, I can't see from here. I'm going to have to scroll down. Give me a second. Well, that dodging didn't work as well as I thought. No look. Back forever. Get wrecked. Okay. I didn't want to have to do this. But. Da 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 la. Wrecked forever. Why would it lock on to the thing past the tree? The tree, once again. I'm starting to take the side of the person who was. Damn, they really, uh. Really auto targeted, huh? Uh. Who was just sassing that tree? Sassy tree friends? No. Sassy tree enemy. Singular. Did they have forearms? They did, amateur nail art. These are mannequins puppeteered by magic, living on long past um, whatever they were supposed to guard, dying usually in the game. But no, but in the DLC, clearly that dude in the throne was alive and uh, that's gonna probably come up for us. Son of a bastard. Son of an absolute bastard. No, I can't do this. Okay, yeah, that, uh, that pillar is on notice, to be honest. I don't like it personally for myself. God, I'm losing so much blood, a.k.a. tummy water. Quit guns akimboing your crossbows. Cheater. Um, Desilu, uh, thank you for that sub bomb of 10 people. Also gifting to Cleo, formerly Arku. Thank you. That was really, really nice of you. Um, that was very, very cool of you, and I greatly appreciate it. And also, you're the next uh, tip up, and it's also extremely generous. Thank you for dropping $50.69. Nice. You generous mother goose. Thank you. Um, seriously, that's very bonkers nice of you. Saying, hi, so I never watch dubbed anime. It's just against my anime law. I get it. You enjoy content the way you want to enjoy it. I don't, I don't, I don't poo-poo that. You're good. Um, I broke said law and am on the season finale of Dungeon Meshi. Uh, the character development you have given Lyos is phenomenal. Looking forward to season two. Give those fuzzy geese some love. Thank you so much. Seriously, that means a lot, Desilu. Thank you. And you know what? I don't usually watch dubbed anime either but i've you know from like a professional perspective i'm trying to a little more just so i learn more and start seeing you know what books and what makes sense for modern english speaking dubs and um the quality is just so great and i get to watch so many friends just absolutely kill it um in the best possible way um but yeah seriously thank you thank you for that that's very 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 nice of you um time to rewatch the dub now I personally like the dub a lot. Look, I also, I don't watch things that I'm in because it bums me out. I get very self-conscious, but Delicious in Dungeon, I, I really enjoyed watching it every week. I think my cast mates are really incredible. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm proud of it. So thank you. Q is great in dub. Okay, I never watched Q, and I'd like to. I hear it's pretty darn good. And I'm also like, I've never watched a sports anime, but I also think it's not really about the sports sports right it's much more about like friendship and the fighting and the believing in your dreams and blah blah blah, blah. thank you very much desi Lewis, for the very generous tip and the nice words um i appreciate that you know what i am going to turn on backseat gaming mode for a second the guy in that uh throne room there is that a boss or like somebody i will have to fight because i have ninety thousand runes burning a hole in my pocket i can't level up yet but it's too many runes to just go deal with he's safe says jonixon okay 
Oh, he's a quest giver. Lovely. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Thank you. Okay, backseat gaming mode. Back off. Uh, thank you very much. Can you kiss him? You know what? I think we should try to give him a smooch on the on each eye. Just each open eye is just like zoning out. And we're just like... Thank you very much. Thoughts on Digimon? Digimon's cool. Um, I used to enjoy it back in the day. Uh, haven't seen any of the new stuff, but I do have some friends on the show, and I'm very stoked for them. Um, he has a rough, so that might be hard. Well, not for how much I want to take his eyes, uh, smooch his eyes. Ah, uh, yes, you were great in Snow White as the mom. Milady, your candelabra is wrecked. In fact, your whole area is... Damn, girl, you live like this? Well... We don't often receive visitors. Because it's I a pigsty. Welcome to Manus yeah. Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have convened here on this day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. If you know, it's my birthday. That's right. And because it's my birthday, you owe me 47 American dollars. A whole laden necklace. Okay. Ruins map. Hey, that's nice. Map to old ruins received. Check an inventory. Nice. The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. It is said that after sounding the hanging bell there, one's fate will be guided by the stars. I only wish... Oh, I get it. You're one of those astrology dudes. Those who fight their purpose. I I'm respect it. Mistaken, am I? I can see it in your You're eyes. a Libra Gemini Sagittarius. Damn it, I was gonna say that. Don't cut me off. I knew it. Um Lorraine CBX, thank you for dropping five flipping gift subs. This has been a wild night, y'all. Thank you so much. Um Lorraine CBX gifting to Dante Bogdan, Brianna, I guess, JZZ227, Alec. Alice, uh, Allison, I think, with an X in the middle there. And then Starfish Bear. Thank you so flipping much for that. Is something the matter? I've given you a map. I am wearing a mask. Therefore, oh, you cannot I kiss each eye. Of me, do you? <laughs> I know the feeling. Those with purpose are nothing if not ravenous. For power. For truth. For kissing each eye. Uh, Strawberry Short Dilf, again, incredible name. Thank you for gifting to Arcane Shadows and Ali Boo, a very spicy clever coop. Welcome to them. Um, favorite Digimon? Um, mine would probably be Kabuterimon. Or like, uh, Kabuto Kabuterimon, or which, whichever one was like the bigger one. I remember liking it as a kid. I also liked, uh, Garurumon. I remember I liked that. But those are just names I remember, because it's been a long time. Um, all right, uh, study sorcery. Oh, yeah, I don't know anything about sorcery. I never did no book learning, sir. Miriam's vanishing. <laughs> Dude's wife left him and he just uh, made a spell about it. Yes, she vanished into thin air with magic. Like, she's with Kyle now. You have to let it go. Look, man. You're so young, you got a lot to offer. You got to pull yourself together, clean up this space. Miriam's not coming back. She will. If I get hot enough, she will. Sorcery of a preceptor who served the Carrion royal family. Used to conceal oneself in a glintstone haze, appearing after a few seconds have passed. Directional inputs determine where one will reappear. Oh, so you met a knight. You're like, yo, doys. You're like, woof, doys. Appear two seconds later. The curator of the study hall was such a master of this sorcery that it now bears her name. Hey, Gay Geek Nerd! What's up, my friend? I miss you. I hope you're doing well. I said hot enough, Gay Geek Nerd. Come on, no. He will return to me if I get hot enough. I am a glintstone sorcerer. We study I'm a Sagittarius. The stars and examine the life therein. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago. I, I've dated in Los Angeles, so yes. Born of a great rupture far across the skies. We too are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? 
And yet, isn't it grand? Ain't it sublime? It's utter brilliance. I'm not throwing actual shade to him. Wait, what? What did he say? What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? He said, he said, watch your feet. Don't want to hurt the little boy. What did he say? I hope I don't hurt the little boy. What does that mean? Hurt the little boy. Who's the little boy? I'm a little, I'm a little guy. Hidden by that and not fire. He said, watch your feet. Don't want to hurt the little boy. Don't worry about it, says CT6s. I mean, I'd just like to see what he said. Looking at his armor, I know I saw someone wear it in a, uh, in a TikTok. So clearly that's going to be something. But, uh, huh. Okay, so someone said I was supposed to come back here at nighttime. So I'm going to do that. Maybe he has a broken toe, doesn't want people hurt stepping on it. You know, who among us doesn't refer to their toes as the little boys? <laughs> wild. wild thing to say that I've said. Um, until nightfall. Uh, let's see here. John, drop in 10, 69. Nice. Uh, thank you very much, John. I appreciate you. Saying, hey, Damien, thanks for getting me into so many gaming slash acting improv things, uh, etc. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Lowell. Question, how do you deal with people online perceiving you? When it comes to the stage, I, I, I don't give a F. But when it comes to posting a TikTok skit, I want to die half joking. Yeah, here's... First of all, it's going to be like a muscle that you build up in terms of comfort level with that. Like, if you feel uncomfortable posting online, it's not going to just automatically go away because there's a part of you that feels like you just don't want to do that. And that's fair. I think here, here's the way I look at it and sort of justify it, right? There's a part of me that like, if I wanted to post a selfie or something like that, there's a voice in my brain that's like, this is so egotistical. What, you're just taking a picture of your own face and being like, here's my face, everyone, comment on it, ha 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 ha. And then you just get the likes and blah, 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 blah. it feels very like self-centered, but I realized there's like a part of what we do, like either online in, in like a streaming space or, you know, doing branded content or just like getting people to know that like, oh, I didn't know you were a voice actor. Oh, I didn't know you were a stream. I think there's an aspect of that that is very beneficial to you, right? And so I used to think, oh, it's egotistical for me to post these things. But then I thought, no, it's egotistical for me to not post these things because posting something like that is a beneficial potentially beneficial part of my job. And for me to not do it would be like, oh, how are people perceiving me? It's like, oh, so you're worried about your ego. You're worried about how people look at you and how you look at yourself. So you're not gonna do something beneficial for you. So it's a little bit of like a swap in mindset that doesn't feel like it's gonna make sense right off the bat, but you kind of have to lock it in through practice. Okay, someone said try the graveyard at night. Ooh. Hello? Oh, it's just the sky. Oh, the ruins map. I actually have to look at it. A simple old map, faded and dirty. Acquired from Count Ymir, high priest, indicates the location of a hallowed ruin. I only wish to be of service. Um, I wish I could go. I wish I could zoom in. Let really me zoom in, can I? Um,. Simple view. Nope. Okay, well then I guess I'll just take a quick picture of that. Do mind your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That is very, very nice of you, Wayward Jaybird. Um, thank you for checking. I just took a shot of it on my phone. A pale blue necklace made from a thin, elongated stone hollowed out from the, in from the inside. That's interesting. It looks like a leech screaming. Where's it? Like, ah! Um, use it at a hallowed ruin sign to sound a hanging bell. 
If it, it was a teaching of Count Ymir, the fate of one who sounds the hanging bell will be guided by the stars. Okay. Spiked spear. Oh. Oh, okay. I got that as a drop from the marionette soldiers, I guess. So let me kind of put that whistle down here. Oh, is it not like a usable item? Is it just gonna be like, do you wanna use the whistle here in this location? Right? Well, okay. Um, Recon spot ahead. Yuri, beloved child taken before his time. Oh. I feel like Yuri would be the name of someone related to an Emir. Guys, it's not Yuri Lowenthal. That person won't age, clearly. Um, okay, so I can see this map. But it doesn't it's not even like an X marks the spot situation. I'm like, what am I even supposed to be looking for? And also I don't have the like map map for this area, so what am I even doing here? Can't even see. Beloved child, taken before his time. Ares. All right. Uh, I guess, I guess I'm not really doing anything with this yet, then, right? Unless I can seriously just, no, I can't use it. You got to use it at a hallowed ruin. Mm, uh, hmm, um, hmm. And I still can't get to wherever the map is for this area because it's all the way over there. You can see on your map like where a map location would be, and that's this. So. Wait, fourth ruin? Rabbit's rise. Okay. This is another map. God. Is that really the only two I'd need? Watch your feet around the church. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. I mean, yeah. So we found Yuri. Lowenthal. The voice actor. Maybe it's the Yuri that made it so Pokemon couldn't print cards of Kadabra. I hear that guy apologized. I hear he eventually, like, apologized and, like, retracted that statement. Ooh, what's up over there? What's your whole deal? Larval tear. Read message. Night required ahead. It is night. Oh, I just wouldn't be able to see it if it weren't night. Got it. I feel like I'm missing the door. So, um, the Pokemon Kadabra has a very specific look to it. Um, and that look was based off of someone who is a famous magician, I think in Japan. Not sure though. Um, who's like, you know, Cadaver's face is clearly a star, and this guy had that kind of mustache, and his symbol was a star. And it's like all these different things that line up, and it, it very much was, you know, clearly pointing to this one fellow. And so instead of being like parodied, he was like, hey, you know, you can't just use my likeness for stuff. That kind of sucks. You're not allowed to do this. So he kind of made a stink about them making Pokemon cards of Cadabra and selling them. And so that's why they completely stopped for a very long time. Even though it's a, a good psychic evolutionary line. Um, yeah, I can't just jump down there. This is insane, man. No maps for me. It's my birthday. No. Um, oh, so it's Uri. U-R-I. It's not even Yuri. I feel bamboozled. I've been Schmeckeldorf. Okay, I'm starting to feel like we're not even going to get this map tonight, folks. Um, maybe the one piece is just friends. Precious item ahead? I don't believe you. Oh, that is a cave. <laughs> I feel so silly. I was like, that guy's a liar. Nope, that's a cave. That's a place where we can do stuff here. I also hear one of those skill beetles that we have to murder to find skills. There you are. And now it's time for murder death for you. Yeah, get ready, champ. That's why you're getting murder dead. 
That's a glintstone sorcery right there. I feel like I don't... Ooh, carrying sovereignty. Too bad I'm not a mage. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. That's actually awesome. Um, I'm so curious. I am so curious what the lore is behind those skill beetles. Because they're clearly dung beetles. But you murder them and get a skill. If I ever murder a dung beetle, I'm just filled with shame and dread. Um, we've got rabbits on chalk, dropping seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. A jackpot. Uh, thank you very much, rabbits on chalk. Saying hi, Damien. I want to thank you for having such good vibes. Oh, thank you. Well, it's it's easy when you have the. Come on, man. Uh, I should have leaned into that and been like, "Thanks for saying I have good vibes." Son of a bastard! No. Um, it's easy when you show up to a stream where people are there to say hi to you and generally be chill about it, and you're all just relaxing together. So thank you. Um, but it's been a pretty rough week. I have to uh, retake calc and fighting with a friend. I'm sorry to hear that. And I'm really grateful for the chance to get my mind off everything in a fun, low stress space. Thank you for being you. Rabbits on chalk, I appreciate you. I am so sorry to hear that you're going through that. Friend fights are really tough. Sometimes you grow in different directions and it ends up being like a long term fight. You don't. Oh. Oh, we got visited by Sauron. We got visited by the Witch King. I gotta take a picture of that for a friend. It's so funny. I want that armor, actually. I feel like I deserve it as a treat. Um, uh, yeah, I am sorry to hear that. Look, retaking Calc, we are literally just talking in a different stream. Some people are really good at math in one direction. Some people are really good in another direction. And like, if you're good at geometry, Calculus might suck for you and vice versa or maybe you're not good at math at all and that's not your thing and that's okay But I'm sorry to hear that you have to retake it. That absolutely sucks um, And fighting with a friend look sometimes space and time fixes things communication is always a good idea um, But otherwise just you know protect your peace as much as you can I have no interest in small talk. Okay. My only concerns are the concerns of Count Emir. Yeah, that Count guy is Emir concerning not among them. Oh, okay only there is one thing yeah. I will say. Actually, yeah, I do have Count something to say. Kindness is a gift. Should you cross him, you will sorely regret it. One more thing. Be gone. There is nothing more to say. Be gone. There is... Out of spite. Be gone. There is nothing. What is my favorite Pokemon? Uh, Chansey and Blissey. They're my favorite. I want to give them a big old hug. And if I were a Pokemon trainer, I would want to have an entirely ghost type gym. And at the very end, there's just one Blissey that's like, y'all have fun in the ghost room. Is that okay? Here, you should have some cookies and some juice and make sure you sit down and catch your breath. All right, you can come back and try again later. That's okay. You know what I mean? Is something the matter? Here to squeeze another lesson out of me. Yes, I'm here to squeeze you. Ah, oh, you meant you learn. Jolan, Jolan, Jolan. Her tongue can be sharp at the best of times, but don't think that makes her a bad person. <laughs> it's no surprise her little sister too has a heart of gold. You got a full family here. Oh, you're just holding a bunch of um hands, spooky hands, lots of hands. Oh, lots of fingers. Oh. Okay. Is that Emir or not? Um. Is something it is good? Uh, the bit. Uh, the okay. Be gone. There is nothing. Bye. -bye. Okay. We got amateur nail art dropping a, a tip. Thank you very much. Saying. Damien made it home from VidCon. Hey, glad to hear it. Congratulations. You survived. Um, I got to go get my runes before I go to another location. Um, my girl, my kitty girl, Georgie, is happy to have me home. Been happily cat trapped many times today, including now. I call it being cat locked. Um, I was cat locked the other day where I'm just sitting on my sofa and the second Freya sits down. It's over. It's over. In a good way. Um, I enjoyed rewatching Board AF Betrayal Legacy during my travels yesterday. That series is so much fun. I'm so glad. Thank you so much. 
I appreciate that amateur nail art. Well, good good to hear that you're home safe and sound. I too survived VidCon. I'm here. I personally love Haunter. What's your favorite ghost Pokemon? I love, I mean, I'll always have a soft spot for the uh, original ghost line of Ghastly Haunter Gengar. I think they've been in almost every run of Pokemon I've ever played. I can't get away from them and I love them. Um, in terms of newer ghosts, or new, uh, I really like the ghost fire types. I think Litwick and the Chandelure line is really cool. Um, I really like uh, Hisuian Typhlosion. Um, I think that's a really solid one. I really like, uh, uh, was it Delmere? The, uh, the flipped, uh, the flipped, um, no, um, what's it called? The, the, the anchor one. The anchor. It's not Delmere. It's, um, Delmise. Delmise. Delmise is what it is. Um, I really like Delmise. I really like, what else? Oh, I really like, um, Alolan Corsola. I think that one's really cool. What's this I see about a graveyard? There better not be no dead people here. Oh, good. They got back up. Well, that's, I'll be darned if that's not exactly what I asked. Mimikyu! There we go. Thank you, Demonacho. Mimikyu is probably favorite ghost outside of the rest. Yeah, thank you. I always forget. Blessed Bone Shark. Zelda's picking at the door, and it's not good, and she knows she's not allowed to do it, and she's still doing it. Trevenant's pretty cool. I like Trevenant. I like the Trevenant line. A little bit of fan thump. Hey, I have to mute my mic and then gently shoo my cat away from the door because she's really picking at it and she knows she's not supposed to. You're not supposed to be here. That kind of weird centipede guy. I am actually so frustrated. Zelda picking at the door is one of those like sounds that has like a visceral feeling for me where I'm just like, oh, you know you're not supposed to. Give me one second. One. I'm back. Um, thank you so much for waiting, y'all. Y'all, I think it's about time I wrap up this situation. Obviously, I'm gonna murder a skeleton for good luck. Um, oh yeah, she's okay, sleepy little rider. She gets really needy um, if my streams go a little bit long or once I finish stream, if she's not hearing me talk to people anymore, she like knows I'm done with stream, so she'll start like scratching under the door and picking at the wood. But she's really strong because she's got a lot of torque because she's like 398 god dang pounds. Not really, but she's just huge, and I love her. Um, seek material. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of the whole thing. So she can really do some damage to a door, which is not great. Um, hey, what's up, Billy Ray? Um, does she ever do the same thing on camera? Gabi does the same thing. Yeah, it's tough. She does get to visit on camera every once in a while. Uh, she always checks on you because she always knows. They're Cats are so, like, dumb smart. They're so dumb smart. Freya's just smart smart. Zelda's dumb smart. Um, but yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, she does get to visit on camera sometimes. Usually I keep the cats out of the streaming space because um, they are very like habitual creatures. And once I start letting them in, they'll be like, great, I can actually be in here all the time, right? And I'm like, no, I can't trust you. You chew on every cord I've ever owned. Um, and uh, you came from Pumpkin Potion. Oh, snap. Uh, Sega Herman, did I miss that? I'm so sorry. Um, shout out to Pumpkin Potion, thank you. Or no, did you raid Sayu and send it over or something? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, um, they, they ruin a lot of things and I have a green screen that's made of material that I drape from the ceiling and uh, Zelda would absolutely just, uh, just wreck that thing. So gotta be careful. Oh. I challenge the entirety of this castle. Um, Kira Lottier says, what would their D&D &D alignment be? Uh, chaotic floppy. Both of them chaotic floppy. 
That being said, I love my daughter, my cat daughters, very much. Wouldn't trade them for the world. They're a little chaotic. A single dad who works two jobs, who loves the scarce and never stops. Is this real? Raise your chest head, you absolute liar. All right, y'all, before I end stream, not not quite there yet, but before I do end stream, um, what am I about to walk into? Campsite ahead? Oh, cool. Oh, perfect. Oh, I just got chills. This looks so cool. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, I am going to, of course, read out all the resubscribers as per usual. Thank you to everybody who joined through the raids. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the sub bombs. That was a wild evening with that. Um, Twin Swords. Thank you for subscribing for the first time. Well, that's pretty cool. It's a good name for what we're doing here. Um, yeah, everybody who was sticking around, who was new or from the other raids, I really appreciate it. I hope we get to see you again. Uh, Glitter Puke. Actually, if anybody's at uh, Anime Expo, maybe you'll see me there. I'm doing a panel on the 5th at the NIS America booth. Or the, I don't know where it is, but it's with NIS America, so you can see it. Um, Glitter Puke, thank you for dropping three flippin' gift subs to uh, Hokuto Kinoko. Hokuto Kinoko. Uh, Archer91, and then something written in Hangul, which I can't read, and I'm so sorry, but welcome to you too. Glitter Puke, thank you for doing that. Um, let's read out all the resubscribers. There actually aren't too many tonight, so it'll be pretty quick. Um, as I always say, you don't have to subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you just being here regardless, but those of you that do, thank you. Um, you know, it really supports me, and it's very nice, so I always thank people in one old, big old batch at the end of the stream. So big ol' spicy. Welcome back and thank you to Otome Cafe for their 11th month, Grumpy Penguin 95 for their second, I Am Bradical for their two year clever anniversary. I Am Bradical, you get some blue cakes. Um, thank you so much for two flippin' years of support. That's wild. Here's to 10,000 more. And also thank you to Desi Lou, uh, Noah Cola, Jenna Official, Demo Nacho, uh, and Amanda M. Davis, all for helping me carry those blue cakes. They're very heavy. They're made of tungsten. Um, and that is why you're my blue cake reinforcements. So thank you. Uh, we got Chana Bean for their seventh, Emily Green for their 54th, Madame Trashy for their 42nd, Desi Lu at a tier three for their 11th. Let's go. And thank you, Kayla Macaroni, for the for being a reinforcement. Um, Desi Lu, thank you for that big old extra chunk of support. As always, you're a generous mother goose, and I appreciate you. Thanks for being around for the stream. Lyos will help us do this now, as well as Muriel. Muriel, uh, priest of vows. Um, we've also got Amanda M. Davis subscribing at a tier three for their 44th month. Thank you for that extra big old chunk of support. Let's go. Um, thank you to, uh, Devin Moore for your fourth, Sal 007 for their third, uh, Doi for their fourth, uh, Swanky Panky for their fourth, Gen Rocks for their second, Gabby XB for their ninth, Jukebox Dinosaur for their second, Mirasol the Chalice for their 15th, Emily from Cali for their sixth, we got the Ginger App for their 39th, Yoko Ayumi for their third, Leslie Jane 420 for their 11th, De uh, Devin Lam for their sixth, KB Sweetie for their fifth, John M. Herrera for their seventh, Shmai Zonium for their 46th, we got Soothsayer, uh, BBX for their 22nd, Super Credit for their fourth, uh, IDK Man for their third, Death, Death Halen, uh, 5150 for their third, Surge for their 29th, Big Chains for their second, Brian Calhoun for their 38th, and then finally, Nuclear Ion for their seventh. Um, y'all, this was a lovely stream. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate you. Um, truly, truly wild. Um, thanks for all the raids tonight. Thanks for all the sub bombs. What a nice evening, and I'm, I'm, you know, so sorry I had to start so late, but we still did a two and a half hour stream, and that's how much I used to stream, so there you go. Um, let's see real quick, who's, who's up, who's up? Let's see, we are going to give a little raid tonight. Listen to raid to who is Chelsea, who is Chelsea is a delightful individual. I'm going to really quickly leave this situation and go to system and get ready to exit. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to go back to the camera. Return to desktop. Boom. Um, so yeah, we're going to raid who is Chelsea. They're a delightful individual. Um, before I do that, let's get our raid call going. Uh, we are going to raid who we, uh, we're going to raid. What are we going to say? Keep that raid train going. Um, uh, pigeons brought friends this time boom um so this is our raid call copy paste it if you got the emotes um even if you've got to run 
Uh, it's always nice to send a big old raid over to people as happened with me earlier tonight. So thank you again so much to all the different people who raided, came in through the raids and stuck along with that. Uh, truly, that was awesome and I greatly appreciate it. Um, let's start this raid. So Clever Coop, uh, again, if you don't know me, my name is Damien, voice actor, Twitch streamer. Uh, I stream Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. Tuesday and Thursday are usually around 6 p.m. Excuse me, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Sunday is around noon Pacific. Um, uh... Yeah, thank you so much for hanging out tonight. Whether you tip, you subscribe, you throw bits my way, or you just support me by watching with your eyeballs. I so, so, so appreciate you. I love this community, and I could not and would not want to do this without you. So until next time, Clever Coop, you are dismissed. Bye, everybody. Bye.